Dum Dum. And here he Come is, on. direct from some sort of dark dimension, Pumpkin Guy. Middle of the week. Middle of the week, it's Wednesday. Ah, we're almost through the week. Okay, we got two more days. We got two more days. What's up? Greetings, PG and John. We are here and annoyed at my works tech department. Uh oh. They said something may be loose in my laptop. So the guy legit smacks the laptop on the desk and says if it's still giving me issues, he'll try to. Taking it apart, seriously. What? Thank you, Irish Armstrong. Yeah, Phoenix Monroe, at that point, I would just take it apart myself. Good. Lincoln Park is set to announce the 20th anniversary edition of their second breakthrough album, Meteor, very soon. I uh, hope the album gets fully remastered somewhere. The first disc to be exact. I, I'm always skeptical about remasters. Pauline looks cute. And in other breaking news, it's cold outside. It's cold outside. You're gonna freeze your butt off. Or maybe other bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. It is cold. Ah, but it's cold. What are you gonna do? You walk out there with sandals, kick some snow around, it'll be fine. Don't do that. <laughs> no, you get the uh, the frostbitten. And I'm always iffy about remasters. You know, because sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. You know, it kind of depends on who's playing around with it. You know, somebody could be fiddling with things and they're like, oh, let's, let's you know... Turn the bass down for some reason, Metallica. Uh, let's see. Mm. What's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up? And uh, Phoenix Row. Uh, yeah, that that's not tech support. That's uh, somebody who doesn't want to do their job. Something's loose in your computer there. Uh, it, you know, yeah, it keeps giving you problems. You just punched it. You punched my laptop and said it was a service. That's That's not how life works. You get nothing. Oh, God. What's up? Let me say hi to people. King Toy, what's up? Here's some Ross. What's up? How's it going? Uh, JPEG Artifact, what's up? How's it going? A hero for hire. Hello, Lost Pixie. Spider, Glasgow, Buccaneer Squirrel. So, my furnace went out Monday morning. Oh, God. I'm way too cold. Took the day off to have my furnace fixed, and the ignition rod is out of stock. Of course. You know, bro, worst time. Obligatory monthly post. Hey. Still the only sub I pay on Twitch. Thank you, Fabio. I appreciate that takes effort. I really appreciate it. Thank you. What? That's good. I'm the only one. 65 moons. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey. And I'll try to stay warm, Glasgow. God. Yeah, it's in the mid-20s here, but it feels like a single digits. Yeah, wait till Friday. Oh, God. Dude, no, man. Friday, it's it literally says negative one for, for our forecast. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe I won't go for a walk that day. Uh, let's see. No, man. We got the treadmill. We're treadmilling it. We're, we are treading on us. Yes. Despite what the flag says. <laughs> We're treading on me. Um, no, because it's actually working. We do, we do like a mile mile every other day. Like a vigorous mile, you know. Slow start, all right? So there we go. It's pretty good. And how are things going today? I got my cold brew and ready for some pumpkin fueled wisdom. We got, I don't know, we do have a couple of things to talk about, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, that's when the weather will ha ha we re we have will reach you. Yeah, see negative negative one negative one. All right, and it always it always happens. It's you know the the heating in the building or whatever always goes out when it's actually being used. You know, never in like the middle of the summer where nobody cares. <sighs> it's twenty five degrees here in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, hello, what's up, Mega Master? What's up, DJ uh, Gunner? Gunner, what's up? I right, please, what's up, Sora? What's up? I right. uh, King Tony Glasgow, what's up? Here's the thing. We're okay. We bought a new webcam and, 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 and like schmucks, like schmucks on a short bus, right? What we did, right, is we bought a, another webcam. Of course, it was a Logitech. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Because we have another one that actually works. But, you know, this one we wanted to use because it would have been 60 frames a second. We're still using the old one. We're still using the old one. Okay. So this isn't technically 60 frames a second. Looks are deceiving. Yo, um, I don't know if anybody's used one of those 60 frames a second uh, cameras with, like, the, you know, streaming. Dude, it look it looked like garbage. It looked like garbage. Dude, it, it, it couldn't, it couldn't like, register green screen properly. It was like the focus was all jank, and I know about settings. I've been doing this for quite some time. Um, go. In gaming news. What? Sony, Xbox. And Nintendo yeah, nobody's going will not E3. be in person for the upcoming E3 gaming uh. event with a full capacity later this summer. 
I wonder why? Uh, because they're doing their own things. PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox just do their own things now. They don't give a flying crap about E3. I don't think anyone does. Now it's going to go back to the way it was, where it's just like a small bunch of companies trying to push their wares. You know, Xbox is like, we literally have an, a whole amphitheater just for our stuff. <laughs> we don't need to be going to E3. You know, and Je Jeff Keighley basically, you know, knocked out the kneecaps of E3 when they were on hiatus. So. Was distracting myself with DBD earlier and someone on my team was named Phony. Oh. Knew it was 99.99998% chance it wasn't you. Nope. Just to be safe, protected them with my <laughs> life. Yes. We all, we all escaped. Nice. Protect the squirrel. Yeah, we, would, we wouldn't do anything so obvious as going online and being like, hey, Phony. You know, it's kind of, it's, I don't want to call attention to myself. What's up? Less than three. Hey, two moons. What's up? JPEG. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. JPEG artifact. I hate those artifacts. No, man, when you try to blow up and you get the artifacting, and then you got to get AI to remove it. Oh, God, it's crazy. E3 has gone from booth to poof. Yeah, it's pretty much... Yeah, it, it's, I feel like E3 is dead in the water, but you know what? It might actually make it more interesting now that everyone's not focused on the majors. You know, because every year it was like, who won E3? Who gives a flying crap now, right? Because it doesn't matter. They could just deal with, you know, and this is much needed exposure for the smaller companies and they're not going to be overshadowed by the big three, you know? So I'm all for that. I don't care if Xbox doesn't show up. <laughs> I don't care if PlayStation. Oh, we're not going to go. We're not going to E3. I don't care. Neither am I. <laughs> just give me news. Just dribble out the news when you can. Oh, God. Checking in from my office. Happy Wednesday. What's up, Annoying Feather? I don't know. Hope your day goes well. Ah, E3 hasn't mattered in years. If a company wants to inform the public, oh, what is it going on? Just show us online. It's not 1995 and you doesn't come out in Game Fan anymore. <laughs> I remember Game Fan. Uh, that is a good point, though. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Awful Skin was a recent personable one. Won't make you to spend money on it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No. I, very rarely will I do that. Like, I, I, don't, I don't throw a lot of money at skins and stuff, so. Um, what, in a game? Go. Good morning and good vibes. What's up, 20 Moons? Rise out, what's up? How's it going? Herp, you're doing well on this Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Boom, boom, boom. That's a coffee bar. I can't get any real drinks for anybody. Um, boom, 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 boom. There was a thing. Um, oh, God. We could go through all the DC news that was released because James Gunn has got a, I don't know, kind of a roadmap. It's kind of a roadmap. I mean, they're like, yo, we're, we're, you know, they, 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 they put their brain to it. You know, they're, they're like trying. What? I, it's, it's the most optimism I've had for DC in probably three decades. Okay. Uh, bum, bum. Don't you hate when you're wearing shoes and all of a sudden they're backwards? Like, I don't know why my toes are right where the heel are right now. It's, I, I don't, hold on. <laughs> oh, and it, and it's, and it flipped over too. It's a sandal. What do you want from me? Oh, God. Oh, come on. Just, just be a foot. Just be a shoe. Words. Lil, they can't steal everything from Marvel, Lil. <laughs> well, no, they, they got, they got, they got their kind of own things. That's all right. What? It'll be a thing. We'll see what's happening. Doing fantastic. Hope your day's doing well. So far, so good. Roadmaps are worthless on paper if the game industry is anything to go by. Well, film is a lot easier to do than games. Seriously. Like, I, making a movie is easier than making a game. What? You don't have to worry about bugs when it gets released. It's either good or it's bad. You know, that's the final product. Unless they update it for streaming services. Now, new improved for streaming services. Wait, what? Uh, let's see. I think it's terrible when I put them on the wrong feet. Yeah, I've, that, that's difficult for me. I've worn two different shoes, though. Right, like, if I have multiple sandals, like, lying around, I'll just, oh, yeah, whatever this is. Yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah, because I don't want to step on cat litter. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Netflix is going to do the password crackdown. They're going to be cracking down on passwords, so you're not going to be able to share with people. I, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work, but apparently it's a thing. They didn't say when, but, oh, dude, does anybody remember that game Crime Site? Crime Site. It was like this uh, whodunit kind of game um, online. It made it was made by Konami, but uh, apparently the 
player base is so low they it's literally only been out for 10 months and they're stopping support for it like the game is going to be literally unplayable may 1st unplayable they said unplayable they're not going to even patch it for you know peer to peer peer to peer dude just peer to peer it man god i hate that now they're already starting to delist it from the shop so it's like good job i dude that's insane to me you know it's like you put all this work and effort and bail and bail or jail is going to be next man because that that's also konami oh god Mm, I already don't share my password, so it's not an issue. Yeah. Not sure how true this is, but Netflix will require the username and password entered from the home location every month or the account will be blocked. Yeah, that's what I heard, but... Rumble versus shutting down in about two weeks. What? Such great potential, but what happened to its full potential? Dude, no, Rumbleverse was cool, really? That's, that's... Oh, God, you're discontinuing that game? Dude, that's amazing. Dude, I thought that that had a lot of fervor and like hype about it when it came out. Dude, all the streamers were playing it. It was it was like way up there. Everyone was like, dude, Rambleverse, what the hell happened to it? For those who don't know, it was like a battle royale kind of like actual battle royale with wrestling moves and stuff like that. Really? Dude, that is oh my god. Why doesn't why don't game dev support your bleeping game, Mike? It's like they look at it 10 months. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not making enough money. Throw it out. Wait, what? Dude, we spent five years on this game. Uh, no, 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 no. Discontinue. Pull the plot. All the gamers at home. Bro, I can't get in a match. What's going on? What is, what is this end of life service thing? Zombie Snow White, what's up? Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday. Wednesday, the worst day of the week. Hump day. It's terrible. Just want to get past it. Time to hydrate. No, because I, need I some refuse. Water. I gotta keep the pot I refute. I refute your 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 request to hydrate. I'm gonna sit here and dehydrate and turn to sand. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of thirsty. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm just glad Knockout City is still thriving well, and waiting on the reveal trailer for the upcoming Chemical V Day event tomorrow. Ooh. Season eight, nice. called the High Society Heist, has been a wild one. Nice. There you go. See, at least that one's doing all right. I can't believe Rumbleverse. You know, but that that, that crime site was kind of like a who done it multiplayer kind of thing, and I'm like that to me in my brain that was like a really good idea on paper, but apparently players didn't want to think about who did what, and they were already playing Among Us. So, <laughs> you know, ah, uh, God. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? It is what it is. I just feel bad for everybody who invested some money and time into it, you know? Uh, oh, God. Mm. What? Oh, and, uh, dude, other bad news, bro. Ozzy Osbourne had to stop touring. He stopped. Marvel still wishes it could steal from DC. Outside the live action, Marvel yeah. cartoons suck. Marvel animated films suck. And Marvel games suck your wallet for sucky content. Yeah, well, only if you pay for them. Um... <laughs> Ooh, uh, let's see. No, but uh, thank you. What do you call it? Um, ba -ba 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 Ozzy. No, man, you got a spine thing going on. He can't tour anymore. It's over, man. It's over. Your Twitch tag still says Night of Full Moon. Oh, man. God. Um, is it a full moon tonight? Because then I can leave it. God. <laughs> Let me change that. Been playing High Fire Rush. Nice button mash fighter meets Rockstar. I find it odd that is crashes natively on my laptop but runs almost perfect to key on Xbox Cloud. I think it was made for consoles first. So, and then they're like, hey, just put it in. Yeah, I got to change my category because apparently that's a thing. Oh, my God, this thing is going so slow, dude. Just let me change my category, right? Go ahead. Oh, my God. There should just be an easier way to do this. Can I just say, like, y would you like to give me the, ch the category? Dude. God, I, I, I hate internet. Oh, God, and I just moved the camera for no freaking reason. Life chat. Life. There you go. Can we, can, we, can we stop with stupid categories now that nobody really cares about? Like anybody even looks at them anymore. Whatever, man. <laughs> No, it's just, it's tedious. 
Every little thing is so tedious to me now. Uh, let's see. Let me play off right, right. Okay, read that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Pump God. What did I miss? Uh, the intro, and then there was this giant fire that swept through an entire town. We fu we fought off Godzilla. Well, Godzilla like monster, and then um, we had some coffee. So, not not too much. Uh, let's see. The original Wednesday Adams passed away. Yeah, Lisa Loring passed away. Yeah, and and the the one of the the Laverne and Shirley people uh, passed away. The actor that played a uh, was it Laverne or Shirley? I don't even remember. I haven't seen it in forever. But they they passed away too, this week, man. And dude, didn't a, a voice actor for like uh what was it a, a Witcher character pass away too? Dude, this whole week, Ozzy's not touring. Yeah, Laverne and or Shir Shirley passed away. Little Wednesday Adams. Yo, this was so annoying because I heard about the Wednesday Adams thing and it it scared me for a second. Cause go. Seems like 2023 is cleaning house. Yeah, can we start with terrible people first? My God. Um, thank you. No, but uh, dude, when they, uh, all, the only alert I got from news, Wednesday Adam actor dies. And I'm thinking, you know, Ortega. And I was like, my mind exploded and I was worried for about a half a second until I clicked on it. And I was like, oh, well, they were older. God. Like, I, I, I'm like, yo, you got to clarify that original Wednesday Adam, you know, don't panic people because then everyone's sell sending well wishes to Ortega on Twitter. You know, you brought so much joy to our lives. We're sorry. Best to your family. You know, it's like, they're alive. <laughs> you know, they got to probably make a public announcement. I'm alive. It was the other one. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I only saw from Twitter and articles. Yeah. This year, a lot of people were passing. I don't know why, man. Well, I mean, I kind of know why. It's, you know, life science, all that stuff. We fought a wish list Godzilla and one with a mega punch. Yeah, there we go. We just slapped them with a, I don't know, waffle iron. Mm, clickbait at its finest. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that's the best. I mean, that's kind of the best way to do it. You know, you get people concerned about something and then you're like, well, oh, no, I'm, we meant this one. Oh, God. Uh, Lisa Presley's mom suing the kids, apparently. Why? Lisa Presley's mom is still alive? Really? Go. Yeah. 76 months. Still seems longer than that. It just feels that. Feels longer than that. <laughs> Pope Waffles, thank you. I appreciate 76 months. Pope Waffles. May the syrup be with you. Real syrup, not that weird stuff that's got high fructose in there. Got to keep healthy. <laughs> thank you. Uh, people thought hating planetaria dried recently too, but it was just a hoax. What is with all these death hoax? You figure with information being accessible so quickly, there wouldn't be hoax hoaxes about people dying. Oh man, no, I thought he died. I read it on Twitter. And you trust that? Come on. Priscilla, really? Priscilla Presley is still alive? Alive and kicking. So, go. It's like with Betty White. How many times was it reported she died and she didn't? Then it actually happened. We all thought it was another fake out until her assistant confirmed. Were there any, like, um, rumors, like, hypothetically, you know how when somebody popular dies like Elvis, they didn't really die, they just moved to a weird land. Michael Jackson is still alive somewhere in the wherever, Bahamas or some tropical island. You know, that kind of thing. Every, like, major star, it's like, I feel like there's a psychological inability to accept the passing of somebody like that. So they're still alive, they just went somewhere else. You know, that kind of thing. I feel like life is getting shorter every year. Scientifically, yes, it is. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Hey, YouTube person. Shiraki, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, the general public doesn't know how to sort good information from bad. Um, Yeah, and I feel like they just react on the bad instead of the good. Bum, bum. Mm, just got out of the dentist. Two fillings, one on a root canal tooth and one wisdom tooth out. Nice. There you go. Whole left side of my mouth is now chipmunk squirrel like no waiting to drink tea and get to keep the tooth. Hey, you got to keep the tooth? Wow, dude, that's amazing. Bro, tooth collection, nice. There you go, nice. I know, rest up. Ira Bob Bourne, a Navy veteran and candy company executive known as the father of peeps for mechanizing the process to make the marshmallow chicks, has died. He was 98. No, I, I can't mourn the loss of somebody who's 98. I mean, bro, I'll, I'll be lucky to get to 89, let alone 98. Bro. All right, the peep dude passed. My peep. 
I, I, I am, I am not going to eat peeps in their honor because I want to live to 98. <laughs> I don't need that much sugar in my life. It's literally sugar covered in sugar. And as much as I like sugar, I feel like that even for me, that's way too much. Uh, you went live as soon as I got out of the dentist. Go figure. Yeah. It's a scientific, I don't know, something or other. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, is it because Priscilla wants the Elvis catalog rights that Michael and Lisa had? I I don't know. I don't know what the Presley suing is. Whatever at this point. I'm like, whatever. Mm, boom, 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 boom. Uh, well, Jackie Chan was supposedly dead, and that was a hoax, too. What's with all the hoaxes? Can, we, can everybody just stop? God. Hoaxes. All right, all right, all right. So Konami's, you know, shutting down a game. Um, Rumbleverse is going away. Ozzy basically, you know, is not touring anymore. But DC's doing stuff. All right, DC is, is throwing stuff together. James Gunn came out, and he was like, look, this is all the stuff we got kind of planned, sort of. You know? So, uh, th- all right. No, they, they have a couple of things happening. The Flash is still going to go out. Blue Beetle still going out. Um, Shazam. But apparently the Flash movie supposedly kicks off the, what, soft reboot of the Marvel, not, not Marvel, DC Universe for films. And then there's going to be a Superman movie. Oh, God. I know everyone's going to hate this thing just because Cavill's not in it. But it's not coming out till 2025. So, you know, put put your hate for that on the back burner. Um but, hey, who's the one that kept wanting the uh, John Stewart Green Lantern thing? Because they're doing that. They're doing a series for that. It's going to have um, Hal Jordan and John Stewart in it. But there you go, bro. Dude. You know? You're like, dude, I don't care about being John Stewart. Now it's John Stewart. Not that John Stewart from The Daily Show. Dude. Billy, what's up? How's it going? James Gunn announced new DC and our team projects. There's no, who cares about the Snyderverse? Also, oh. somehow. <laughs> I can only assume it's a unique amalgamation of drugs keeping Richard standing. Rolling Stones is touring this year. That is that is amazing. That is amazing to me. I feel like they're all deep fakes and AI assisted performers at this point. They have to be. Oh God. <sighs> no, but that's kind of a thing. Um burp, 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 burp. No, what else was there? It was dude, um all right, there's go. Jim Pills, happy Jim Smiles, hey. Jim Happy. Adam, thank you. 32 moons. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's drumming for them? Oh, I don't know. Dave Grohl? I don't know. Every time that somebody, uh, who's the new drummer? I just want to assume Dave Grohl. Eh. Mm. Live action Green Lantern. All right. Then we got your Batman there, right? You got your Batman coming out. The Batman, which is going to be based on the brave and the bold. But, uh, what, Batman's kid, what is it, Damian Wayne, who's like, out of control, out of control, you know, that kind of thing. And he's trying to rein him in or something. But I, I don't know, that could work. That could work. Why not? I'd be excited to see that. Go. At this point, it seems Richards, Jager, and Alice Cooper will all die before retiring. I would, I would rather that happen. I would rather people work to the end and enjoy their life of creativity than just be like, oh, you know what? I stopped creating for like 15 years and man, I wish I did more. You know, that kind of thing. Um, But speaking of Alice Cooper, Alice Cooper's touring with Rob Zombie, Filter, and what's that other band? Was it Ministry? I think it was Ministry. Yeah, so uh, if if you ever wanted tinnitus, uh, (laughs) there you go. Uh, But uh, what? There is no live action radically yours. Would it work? Would what? Jermaine? No, it wouldn't. Not at all. They're not the same. They're not the same characters. Yeah, ministry. I'm going to the show. All right, there you go. Nice. It is a ministry. See, Al, Al Jorgensen's still alive. It's the drugs. Drugs keeping him alive. What? They gotta play. So what? Might be alone in this, but I'm over all the superhero movies. It's just been oversaturation the past ten years. Yeah, pretty much. But, you know, they're going to keep throwing more at you with, let's see, what was it? Batman, Brave and the Bold. Uh, you got Shazam, Flash, Blue Beetle still coming out. That's going to be a theater thing. Um, Creature Commandos. It's going to be an animated thing. I didn't even know this thing existed, but the weasel's going to be in it. 
And apparently there's like little monster commando people doing things. It's seven episodes. It's going to be actually written by James Gunn. So we'll be able to see how that works. But that dude, little dark creatures, man. Yeah. And then Waller. Yeah, you know the lady in charge of Suicide Squad? Apparently that needs to be what, a TV series. Yeah, it's going to be a TV series. Well, it was written by the Watchmen people, so I guess that's good. You know? No, not Pauly Shore. Uh, I was asking about casting Don as Jermaine. No, I, I literally just said no. <laughs> that's not going to happen. In a live action thing? No, it's not going to work. Uh, uh, uh. Apparently, according to James Gunn, to Flash, the best movie he ever saw. Okie dokie. Yeah, in other words, we got to hype this up because money's. Go. Henry Cavill was a horrible Superman. Find me. I don't care. <laughs> Lol, I am the opposite. Those are the only movies that excite me anymore. Everything else is so boring or isn't my kind of comedy or just dumb to me in Hollywood. Yeah, pretty much. No, nah, dude, I don't even bother with comedies anymore because I find them to be very bland middle of the road and they're like... Uh, the only thing we could do to not offend anybody is gross out humor or just being awkward and say that it's cute and charming but funny at the same time. No, dude, I, I need something a little bit more anything. It's just anything. Uh, I've not seen a live action. That was good. Um, Live action of what? Aquaman. Would Aquaman 2 be the last DC Snyder movie? Um, I don't know. They're making it, and there's actually rumors of another Aquaman movie, but nobody said anything about Lobo, all right? Nobody said anything about Lobo. But there's going to be, um, you know, the, the, the Amazonian people for Wonder Woman and all that stuff? Yeah, they're doing, like, a series for that, but apparently, according to James Gunn, it's going to have a very Game of Thrones-type feel. So what does that mean? A lot of nudity? I mean, I, what? I'll watch it. Um, but I, I don't know how that's going to go. So I'm not, I'm not really big up on like the whole Superman thing. So, and I don't know what the, the authority is. Apparently there's the thing, the authority coming out. Uh, bring back dark humor jokes. No, nobody can joke about anything dark because everybody's dark in their minds and they can't address it. So they're very oversensitive about it. Dude, any topic that you, you think pot pokes at emotional trauma slash this blah, 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 there's always going to be that one person, but me. Shut up. <laughs> That's why I look at it. I shouldn't deny laughter to a auditorium of people for the one person in the back who's going to find it, you know, distasteful, you know? Yeah, yeah, you have a troubled life and you're going to go see a comedian that t deals and laughs at troubled, troubling topics, then you shouldn't be there. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't go to a jazz concert and then tell somebody, dude, play Freebird. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know. Come on. I don't go to Carnegie Hall and tell, like, Heifetz to, I don't know, play banjo music. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. Uh Ever since American Pie, every comedy has the same gross out and raunchy tone. Yeah, pretty much. Well, dude, that's so pandered to the, the bottom barrel, lowbrow kind of humor that people are like, I like this. There. Yeah. Speaking of comedy, do you like Adam Sandler? Depending on what he's doing. Mm, that would be cool to hear. Bum, 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 bum. Mm, I guess his, uh, I'm guessing Momo is going to be Lobo. Well, that was the rumor, but nobody's confirmed it. So it's still up in the air. Um, but there's supposed to be a Supergirl movie where Supergirl is very jaded, you know? So it's not going to be like super happy. Oh, I'm Supergirl and I just want to save things. It's going to be like, oh, uh, you know, everything's kind of terrible kind of thing. Yeah. Speaking of comedy, no, I read that. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Oh, any live action movie like Death Note, DBZ were horrible. Eh, give them time. They'll work it out, you know? I'm, I'm sure Cowboy Bebop is, is not going to set any bad precedents for future Netflix adaptations. One piece is sure to, you know, break that curse. This is going to be a lot. Hola, my little bit What's of up? Halloween every day. Random Hagwitch. Can I get some good vibe for me, Abuelita? She is going to have surgery this weekend. Mm. She in her late 80s, and I a bit worry for her. No. I wasn't at first, but the closer we get to the date, the more I scared about the what if. Boom. There's your good vibes. One, don't worry about the what ifs. Things happen the way they happen. Besides, surgery is insanely efficient now, so I wouldn't stress about it. All right? So just, boom, fingers crossed. Be there. Do all the good things. Be supportive. Yeah. 
So we can do good vibes. Mm -mm 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 Go. All right. All right. I, I generally don't wor worry about like people going into surgeries because quite literally they are in the best place to have surgery. It's not like they're in some seedy bar in, in some, you know, crazy area of Mexico getting surgery, you know? So it's like if, uh, you know, Bob forbid anything goes weird, do you literally have a staff around them that know how to hand that, handle that immediately with the best technologies and resources and medicines available within reach? It's not like, yeah, can you guys go to Walmart and get a defibrillator? No, it's 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 really it's right there, and they know what they're doing. So you know that's that's your best case scenario for everything. True, it's true. That's why I never I never stress about doing hospital things. Like quite literally, everybody who's there should know what they're doing. You know? Good vibes. Look at all the good vibes, dude, bro. All the good vibes. Wow. Mm. Bum 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 bum. And you know what that means? Bum 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 bum. Coffee. Why is that all over over here now? It's supposed to be over there. It's right over there. <laughs> oh, God. Why? What happened to it? Like, it quite literally moved, and I didn't do nothing. Where's my coffee card thing now? Where is it? Yo, this one looks like she's about to dunk on somebody. She's, like, going up for a two-point. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. Where is it? Coffee calls. All right, bro, just move over here. Sorry, chat. This is where I put it normally. So you're just gonna have to deal. I'm still getting coffee. I was too busy moving cards. Here you go. You. Nipponichi Software is celebrating 30 years of its existence, and they kicked off their anniversary year on Monday with some big announcements. Were they good? Because there's a huge sale on um. The, uh, the 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 blah, 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 the steam for all their stuff. They're the people that did Disgaea, right? It's coffee wow. time. I time already to get had coffee. And oh. I had too much, but nobody listened, so you buzz. Oh God, dude, that coffee. Okay, here's the thing. I am drinking a coffee that has been brewing for four days. I I literally can see time and space right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally like fry right now. Just in in Futurama, I'm just like. <sighs> Mm, yeah, this guy over here. Um, yeah, the, all those are on sale. They were up to six, but I don't see three on Steam. Did another company do three? I don't know, but there's a whole bundle. You can get them all. Mm. Not just Supergirl and the Authority. Have you heard of the Swamp Thing movie? Yep, heard about Swamp Thing. Um, the last time I watched Swamp Thing, it was accompanied by a riff tracks, okay? Um, so I, I, I don't put a lot of weight on Swamp Thing. I like man thing better. No, not that man thing. You weirdo. Go. Disgaea 7 was announced. Set to be oh, released later this fall. Nice. New merch line was revealed to celebrate 20 hey. years of the franchise. Nice. There you go. Wow, it's been around for 20 years. Hey, we've been around longer than it. Hey. I don't know. That's something, I guess. <laughs> See, that's good to know. Hey, there you go. Disgaea fans over there. You, you're going to get the new merch. You're going to get a new game. It's going to be beautiful. Nice. I don't know why 3 isn't on PC, but it's not. Yeah, that's ridiculous, right? Do I have to play them in order or no? Because I got 1 and 2 in my cart, but I'm like, bro. Bro, I need number 3. I'm going to miss lore. The lore. Uh, I meant there's a new Swamp Thing movie coming. I know there's a new Swamp Thing movie. That's why I'm not terribly excited, because I just watched the last one. Sure, just repeat what I said in a bit. Don't know. What? What they? I didn't get a chance to read yours, but you know it, it was out there. Do you like Man Thing and Werewolf by Night? I thought that was really good. Well, Werewolf by Night was pretty good as far as uh, Marvel stuff goes. I was like, all right, at least they're doing something kind of interesting. The only thing I didn't like about it, yeah. They're technically different, but get them on console. They look better on console. I know, but you know my life is very complex. I can't deal with hooking up with console. No, nah, bro. Dude. What? Because Dawn has got the PS4, and I'm not, I'm not shifting consoles from one room to another every 15 minutes because I want to play five five, five to ten minutes of Disgaea. Because then she'd be like, I need it back because i got to play God of War. And be like, no, but I'm playing Disgaea, and I need it all the way over here. Me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, it gets ridiculous. Uh, what? And, and well, I don't care because I would probably play him on stream anyway, just to have fun. 
Uh, did, did, did. Oh, the thing about Werewolf by Night, the only thing that bothered me is that it felt like it was... It was done well, but it felt like it. I was definitely watching something that was put together on a soundstage. It had a soundstage feel, if that makes any sense. Like I, it, its environment, just it. It didn't take me in or absorb me into the environment. And maybe I'm reading into it too much. So ignore what I say. But I don't know. Other than that, I mean, it was pretty good. Mm, what do you think of Megan? I still haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. I know it's on streaming services, but I'm trying to free up the time. All right. No, last time, what Steve mentioned, we got roped into watching Class Action Park. Um, for those who don't know, it's a documentary about the place Action Park in New Jersey that was basically a death trap for everyone who went in it. Uh, what? It's true. Allegedly. <laughs> Dude, the authority live action movie. That's insane announcement. I, is that good? I don't know anything about the authority. The authority. Authority. Uh, I think it's the first time making what they're making a live action Wildstorm Universe movie. Yeah, there you go. So that'll be a thing. Maybe that's why I'm not really too familiar with it. So I finally managed to get Steam Link to work on my old TV for PC based couch play. It's a bit jank on, for online video, but games work just fine. Nice. Yeah, we had an old Steam Link that we bought when they were kind of doing closeouts on it. It, they were like five dollars at the time and i'm like okay i'll buy one and i bought one and we just we can hook it up it's there it works speaking of action park what do you think of action point didn't watch it i didn't watch it man i didn't watch it at all uh, I'm tempted to play Final Fantasy 12 for the first time, but the combat looks like hot garbage. Any insight? No, but I'm sure Sora does. Sora, do you have any insight? <laughs> what? Final Fantasy 12. Romu's got questions. Mm, let's see. Well, I, dude, I've God, dude, I haven't added fully played a Final Fantasy game in since what was it like eight or something like that. Speaking of action, no, I read it. Uh, I don't think anyone knows about knows about the authority. Yeah, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I I will literally have to look them up. But they're like, you know, it's a different kind of approach to superheroes that people are, are going to be like, oh wow, it's it's supposed to be more gritty, I guess. But that's kind of good, you know. So there you go. But uh, Batman: Brave and the Bold is supposed to start like basically initiate the Bat family. So you're going to have Robin, and I guess maybe. Batgirl or Batwoman or Batmite or I don't know. Whatever bat other related things there are. We'll see. But there are there's gonna be another um what do you call it? Oh, Pattinson Batman, but it's not gonna be part of the DC universe. It's gonna be like the Elseworlds kind of thing. Um, as is the Joker movie. So it, it's good to know that those are going to keep going and they're not going to be like, well, we got to try to tie everything into this one cinematic blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let, let Batman run loose on their own because, you know, th that's that's when it's its best. You know? Bat person. Yeah, there you go. Bat bro. Yeah, I, I, I want the very cynical... Come on, man. Hey, DC, make, make a super edgy for our times kind of Batman. Just call him Bat bro. Bat bro. What's up, man? I'm Papra. Get I on my level. I bought almost all the Disgaea games on Monday as soon as the sale was announced. Nice. Got one comma three and five complete plus on Steam, and got one complete and four complete plus on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, ooh. wow! You could literally play them everywhere. <laughs> um, I am fully ready, almost, but I'm excited to start my Disgaea journey. There you go. Nice. I hear they're very good games and funny. So it's like I, I've had them on my like list forever, and I'm just like, Ugh. I got so much stuff to play that I don't know if I, if I want to try to tackle six games in a row with a seventh coming out. No. Three isn't on Steam, though. No, it's not. I don't know why. Unless it's hidden under another dev or something, but I did not see it. <laughs> 12 is great in combat really makes you think. All right, apparently 12 is great and the combat really makes you think. Some people don't like that, though. Well, this guy 2, 3, and D2 aren't on Switch. I haven't played 3 or D2. Oh, oh that was a bunch of phlegm. Blech. Blech. 
Oh, no, nah, something dislodged from my nose. <laughs> I got to wash that down. Ugh. Dude, if I spit it out, it would have been all over the green screen. You're welcome, chat. Who the hell is Booster Gold? They're making a Booster Gold thing. Apparently, they have like future tech, but in a in a in the future, they're basically a loser. But their tech is so advanced that when they come back to the past, they're considered a superhero. So, uh, yeah, they're making a thing of that. That might be fun as far as character goes. They aren't story continuations, but the stories sometimes connect. But it's mostly for nostalgia's sake and cameos. No, but I like to get the cameos. I don't want to be like, oh, dude, look, there's that person. I'll be like, who's that? They were in two, you jerk. You're not, you're not even a fan. You know, you get those people. I know, unless you're going to be there, then you can fill me back, fill me in on everything. But then you can't backseat. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> What's up? What's happening? Oh, funkiest of pumpkins. I don't define myself as funky. More metal. Metal. What's up? Shadow Star, how's it going? Uh, boom, 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 boom. Also, I don't know what Paradise Lost is, the DC thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, no, that's the Wonder Woman thing they're doing. All right, never mind. Uh, Booster Gold was a B-roll Young Justice character. Yeah, I feel like, hold on. Yeah, that's him. Basically, the fantasy of going back to medieval times with a gun and being a god. There you go. So it's like Kang Dynasty, right? Um, well, no, isn't that like Kang's thing in... Um, the Marvel Universe. He's like so far into the future that like when he comes back, he's considered a god because the dude's just mortal. But he's got so much tech, it's like insane. Um, yeah, but uh, as far as that, I feel like it's going to be kind of fun because, you know, they would be considered, a, you know, I guess a superhero in today's world. But they're kind of a mess up in their own world. So I feel like there's a lot of potential for humor there. So... And here's the quirky thing. What I do like about James Gunn is he picks out some of the just weirdest characters. Like, dude, Polka Dot Guy from Suicide Squad? Dude, come on. I, I didn't even know that was a character that existed. You know? Come on. And apparently, uh, you know, dude's pretty OP. Not for nothing. But I, I was like, wow, all right, there you go. Um, so it's interesting that they just grab from just bizarre corners of the DC universe and they're like, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, let's do this guy. You know, it's like, and it works. Just let me know when you play and I'll fill you in. Bum, and bum, I bum. can hold back on helping Lowell. Hey, there you go. Always got to worry about the backseat gaming. And I'll, I'll think about it. Um, I may just pick them up because they're on sale. You know, at least some of them, maybe like the first two and see if, see how I feel about those. Um, uh, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. I just learned the legend of Yazzie Osborne, and, uh, yeah. And let me, because, what, I feel sorry, what? No, let me, let me pass away a while ago. You're terrible not knowing about the amazing piercing. Watch the Hellraiser tribute video, it's amazing. Hellraiser. Yeah, Ozzy's not going to be touring anymore, he's got to stop. Health reasons, it's kind of sad. I, I, I told everybody, I told everybody, like, a couple of weeks ago. Might have been two months, I was like, dude, keep, keep an eye on Ozzy, you know, and prepare yourselves. I'm still upset over Henry Cavill. I know everybody liked Henry Cavill, you know, with the exception of that one person who will remain nameless. Um, but, you know, dude, it's just, it is what it is. You know, dude, you can't expect every actor to be in their role forever. Hey, I, I still like Michael Keaton as Batman. I mean, it's like, you know, the only thing we're going to get is maybe a cameo in a Flash movie. And I'm just like, all right, you know, I can't expect him to be Batman forever. Hmm. You know? I really hope they don't make another Aquaman, though. Go. Isn't this the third time Ozzy stopped touring for health issues? Yeah, but I, I think it's for reals this time. No, because he's got a spinal thing going on. So, dude, I got to tell you, depending on how bad it is, I would have them prop me up in a robotic suit to go out there and keep performing. Dude. Come on, it would be awesome. Go. Ozzy looked frail in a good amount of the interviews he's done since the Parkinson's diagnosis. Yeah. I knew then he'd never tour again. Yeah, you can always tell there's, like, if, if you follow actors and stuff like that, or musicians or whoever, um, there is a point when you notice that they're not clicking. There's, there's, you, you can see it if, you, if you're kind of attuned to that. 
And dude, that that happened with with us with the last uh, George Carlin performance he did. He was good, but you you could see it. You could see it was it was going. And then it was like a couple of months, what or a year or something like that. Then he just like passed, and I was like, Ugh, well, I kind of knew it. But you know, it is one of those. Life goes on, and then you're gone to the great beyond. Nobody knows what's there. It could be a circus filled with scary clowns or spiders. Or just a waffle iron that makes you the best waffles you ever had for all eternity. All the waffles are good. <clears throat> I don't know. What if the afterlife is just anything you can imagine? Yes. I've wanted to see Ozzy live since high school, but tickets were always out of range. Same with Rush. Yeah, dude, I, that's always the thing. I was lucky to see Foo Fighters before they got really, really big um, because, like, tickets were like $12. <laughs> you know, it was crazy. George Carlin's still alive? No, he's dead. Uh, let's see. Do you think Henry Cavill could get 40K series made? I feel like it's it's moving forward, right? And there's rumors that, like, Amazon is just dumping a huge amount of money into that. And here's the thing. Henry Cavill is, like, all up on 40K, too. It's not like, you know, he was up on The Witcher, too, but the, apparently the writers didn't listen to him. Um, yeah, you can see what happened with that. Dead since 2008. Oh, eh. Like the Wednesday actress, I'm glad I got to see Ozzy in high school. Eh. Mm, I'm contemplating disturbed VIP tickets. Um, One, okay, here's the thing. At, at, at a certain point, you, you, there are certain choices you make in life where it's like, well, you only live once, right? You only live once. Right. Well, de depending on your religious views, you only live once or a couple of times. Um, so I, I feel like as long as it's not going to put you in, in in a situation where you're going to be miserable because you spend a bunch of money on stuff, it's I don't know. Enjoy experiences. I can't enjoy any experience, honestly. You know, my brain wired with the social anxiety things, this, that, the other people too close, very, you know. I'm I'm quite literally a walking ball of PTSD every five seconds. So um, I generally can't enjoy stuff. So I enjoy what I can within my confines. But it, I would say, you know, why not just in, enjoy things? You know, you don't want to be like, you know, 80 years old and be like, man, I should have seen Disturbed when I had the chance. You know, that kind of thing. You know, you have opportunities. If they present themselves and, you know, take advantage of them. If you can't, then meh. You know, it is what it is. That kind of thing. What in Sam Hill is an experience? Oh, speaking of which, hey, King of the Hill. They ordered a series for Hulu. Hey, we're getting a series of uh, King of the Hill. Damn it, Bobby. Dude, that's good. Like, uh, what's his face is on board for, too? Judge. So, hey, that's going to be good. I'm happy about that. They better bring uh, Dale Gribble. Better be in that UFOs, conspiracies. I'm uh, dude. I almost want him to be topical because he's going to be like just so conspiratorial as a character. It's going to be amazing. Paramount bought Showtime. Boo! That boy ain't right. Mm, the writers wanted to write their own story and not write The Witcher. They forgot that this was their ticket to write their own story, not the actual write it. Um, that was the whole thing. It's like Witcher, the writers are basically janked it up because they're like, we want to write our own story. There are books you are supposed to follow and game lore that fans like and appreciate and it is beloved. This is why we are all here to flesh out these things, not create an alternate universe where there's multiple Witchers and you have your own personal you know, family issues you need to project because you were abandoned as A, B, or C. I don't care. Do the Witcher the way the Witcher is supposed to be done. You want to be an artist and vent? Go get paint and a canvas, you know? You're, you're a writer for hire. <laughs> God. Ah. Yeah, imagine reading the books. Yeah, imagine sitting there and actually reading it. You know, Game of Thrones. Um, no, but it's like I, I don't understand why a writers would work on a show that they're not interested in. Oh, it's just a paycheck. You you are in the wrong flipping field. Get the hell out, okay? Because you're the type of writers that are going to be replaced by AI, okay? You know, I'll get chat GPT to get me a script, okay? Get out. You know, at least I don't have to worry about it making fun of the source material, schmucks. 
assuming that was true. Uh, hey, what's up, uh, Louise? What's up? How's it going? How you doing? What's up? Uh, yeah, leave my stories alone. That's what I can't understand, man. It's like, uh, God, you, you got to have a passion for the art. If you're a good writer and it's just a job to you, then save your own stories for your own novels. Make them good, you know? Honestly, here's the thing. All right, hypothetically. If I was a good enough writer to work on The Witcher and I had ideas for The Witcher that I thought would be better that would actually improve on the world. You know what? Go a step further. With King of the Hill, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and Phineas and Furball coming back, it gives me hope for Venture Brothers returning at some point. They're doing a Venture Brothers movie. Um, if you're that good of a writer, thank you, take all those ideas, build your own world, and make your own book. Don't try to don't try to lazy it and be like, well, I can't create characters, so I'm gonna just make it into Witcher. Shut the hell up. That's basically fan fiction, is what you're doing. You're doing fan fiction. Writers, create something. You have ideas that you want to work into a show, bro. If you're smart, you save them. You make your own books. What are you stupid? Morons. Honestly, and here's the thing: if I ever get hired for anything, God forbid. <laughs> you know, creative that I'm like good at, but I don't have a specific passion for every really good idea. I'm keeping it myself and I'm making my own stuff. All right. doesn't mean I'm going to be any less passionate about a project I would get hired for, but I'm telling you character design, anything like that, bro, I am keeping that in the vault and I'm going to do what I want with it the way I want. I'm not going to try to shoehorn it into something where it doesn't belong. Well, you should make this character this character this way because it's reasons and stuff like that. And that's the way I feel. Shut up. Just shut up. Get out of here. <laughs> it, it bothers me so much, man. You know? God. Mm. But anyway. Uh, I heard a show is following the first Last of Us game. And people saying it's good. Um, yeah, we saw the first uh, three episodes of Last of Us. The last one was really depressing, so uh, prepare yourself for sad. Prepare yourself for sad, bro. <laughs> Dude, I was like, man. Uh, foamy book when? Dude, there's like a hundred of them out there. Uh, there are fan fiction writers with better talent than the people who wrote the scripts for the Halo TV show. Yeah, because they have a passion for it. That's the thing. I feel like, again, fan fiction has more of a passion for the source material the good fan fiction, not the weird ones where everyone hooks up for some godforsaken reason. Incredible Hulk is now dating Supergirl for cause reasons. Cause think think about the scenes you could do. No, don't do that. Um, you know, but they have a passion for it where like staff writers are like, Well, I I got hired for this. Here are words. There you go. Come on. I would be fine with AI replacing that kind of hackneyed work. Uh Dun, dun, dun. Halo TV show is a myth. It doesn't exist. La, 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 la. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, God. Is Brittany Murphy dead? I don't even know who Brittany Murphy is. Who's Brittany Murphy? What do they do? Where do they live? What's going on? I don't know who Brittany Murphy is. What do they do? Brittany. What do they do? Murphy. You're Murphy. Teachers banned students AI book reports. Yeah, I saw that. No, because apparently um, students got into the, the chat GPT thing. And they were basically writing reports on us. Like, yeah, write me a report on this. I wish that existed. So now ChatGPT is making tools so teachers can figure out whether AI wrote it. If you knew your students well enough, you would be able to tell this guy did not write this. This guy could barely string a sentence together. He is not writing a thesis in, in the style of Tennessee Williams. You know, bro, come on. <laughs> like flat out, dude. Brittany Murphy was the voice for Luann from King of the Hill. Um. Uh, oh, what was she? Oh no, I think they did pass. Oh my god, dude, dude, did she pass away? I feel like they did. Did they? Did they? Did they? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Nah. Brittany Murphy wasn't Clueless. I didn't watch Clueless, or at least not of the full movie, because I just did not care about it. I know it's a quintessential movie for people who think it is, but it isn't for me. Yes, in 2009. They died in 2009? Four years. Uh, well, you amaze me. ADJ, hey, four years. Thank you. You know what? I'm, uh, we haven't done this yet today. Boo. Hey. Yes, I believe it was due to heart issues. Yeah. 
Man, stupid heart. <laughs> what? That sucks. There's Bezos bucks. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate AJ. Thank you. Man. All right. Well, they're going to have to get replaced. I liked her in Sin City. Um, oh, they were in that too? <laughs> Tom Petty, a.k.a. Lucky, is also dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tom Petty was in that. Tom Petty. Mm. Uh, barbiturates. Really? Huh. Strange. It's weird that there's coffee here and I'm not drinking it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Brittany Murphy, Wallowan, and King of the Hill. We covered that. We only, that was like the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Come on, freak. Thank you. Oh, God. No, all right. Well, then they're not going to be in it. Um, Tom Petty is not going to be in it. And uh, all we got to look forward to then is uh, Bad Boys 4, which is apparently going to be a thing. Yeah, I, I, I think. Oh. I think she is part of the 27 Club. For those who don't know, the 27 Club is a list of big celebs that died at age 27. Yep. I think most people know that. There's a lot of them. Bad Boys 4. Eva? I don't know. Probably not. But I, I, I guess people stopped hating Will Smith enough to release the movie. But whatever. Dude, what am I going to do with that? I don't, I don't, like, generally, I don't care. I think I saw the first one in ye olden times. And then the last time I mentioned, heard anything about Bad Boys was when it was referenced in Hot Fuzz. You've never seen Bad Boys 2. <laughs> mm. Brittany Murphy was 32. Oh, not in the club. Get out. You're too old for this. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, God. Mm. So how character die in The Simpsons so far, too? What? How many characters? Oh, I don't know. There was, uh, what, Flanders' wife and Mrs. Krabappel. Um, and technically Apu. <laughs> Murphy had pneumonia and anemia. She was also in 8 Mile. Oh, they were in 8 Mile, too. All right, there you go. Okay, now I know. Thank you. I'm like, who is this person? I, for some reason, I couldn't get their face in my face. My face brain. It didn't work. So, thank you. Will Smith made another movie about... Yeah, yeah. I heard nothing about it. I'm sh I don't know if it's going to be up for an award, though, because, you know, he might slap somebody. Hot Fuzz is literally the best movie. Dude, between that, uh, God, Shaun of the Dead and World's End, those are amazing. Mm, Dr. Marvin Monroe. Dr. Marvin Monroe. What? He died, too? Yeah. Man, I didn't hear Mrs. Crabapple in a long time. I had to think twice who that was, Lowell. Yeah, Mrs. Crabapple. <laughs> what? She was really good. It was a really good uh, episode in there. What? What are in it? The actress who played Flanders' wife wanted more money. She was told no. She wasn't happy, so they just yeeted her character out. Uh, really? Is that true? I want more money. Dude, you're Flanders' wife. Nobody likes Flanders. It's literally damn Flanders. You're married to damn Flanders. Do you think you're going to get more money being damn Flanders' wife? No. I demand more money. We're going to kill your character. <laughs> Wait, you can't do that. You want a bit? What? And it worked out fine. Uh, Bleeding Gums Murphy and Dr. Marvin Monroe. Hmm. We're the first characters to die in The Simpsons. I'm Dr. Marvin Monroe. What is he? He was a psychologist, right? Yeah. I thought Flanders was rich. Um, I'm, I don't think he is, is he? I don't even know what he does for a living. Mr. Krabappel, I eat, I eat mine. <laughs> Canetto Trilogy is excellent. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. I, w I wish there was more movies like that. Uh, I need more Simon Pegg, Nick Frost pair-ups. Come on. Paul was all right, but Seth Rogen's alien just kind of bo bothered me. God, Seth Rogen. I think it was Seth Rogen, right? Yeah. It, it's just, it's it's a big bunch of just stop. Uh, Flanders wasn't rich. He lived on credit. See the RV episode. Huh. Oh, he didn't believe in, in, in insurance. That's right. And Flanders owns the Leftorium. The Leftorium. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da 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 -dum, dum, 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 dum. I kind of want more coffee, dude. What's up? Uh, I read that. I read that. I read that. Mr. Rob Lightman. Uh, nope. Um, God, well, 
Where's the next Simon Pegg movie? I, I don't say, all right, I'm talking about a real one. I don't care about Mission Impossible. I really don't. It's going to be a Mission Impossible. Oh, my God. I don't care about Mission Impossible. I got to look up there. I am the baby. I'm the baby. Can we talk about something a little more uplifting? All these dead persons talk is getting me bummed. I don't know. You want to talk about people that are close to death? Is that better? <laughs> They're slightly closer to death, yet still alive. Think of the Rolling Stones and such. Eh? What's your favorite brand of coffee? Whatever is cheap and available. What? Dude, you cold brew uh, even crappy coffee, right? It's amazing. I will actually say one of the best coffees I've recently had is, uh, what is the Val Valhalla coffee? It's literally, like, made by Zach Wilde. And, I, you know, you figure it would be gimmicky. Oh, you know, Zach Wilde, bro, he's doing a thing. Well, okay, whatever. It's very good. It's a little over-caffeinated, but it is smooth AF. It is insane how smooth it is. It's very rare I find a very smooth coffee like that. Mm. Uh, Star Trek 4. Go. I wish the Beatles would die or what's left of them. They are so overrated. Eh, don't get there, you know? Come on, who wants to hear Hey Jude again? Again. Hey Jude, shut up! Paul, please! You have a whole catalog of like 100,000 songs. Any other one? Go. Brittany Murphy was in a lot of good movie, but the movie I liked her in the most is a known movie, The Ramen Girl. Maybe you want to check it out when you have the time. Ramen girl, write it down. Ramen. I'll remember that, actually. What? I will. Simon is voicing the headmaster in Hogwarts. Yeah, that's not a movie. It's it's Tim saying words. It's not a movie. Well, <laughs> bro, I said words. Mm. What? No, I would really... Dude, Paul McCartney has so many songs written. Anything but Hey Jude, all right? Please. Please, that's one of those songs that just needs to just it it, it it needs to take a minute, you know. Let let it let it sit, let it sit. There's a band called Goth Babe. Yes, mm. it's just a dude and has nothing to do with goth. Nope. They did a, a really good song though. Um, oh my god, what is it? I think wasted something. Eh, it's a good song. Their songs are hard to miss. My favorite Beatles songs yes are yesterday. I gave my shoes away. I don't know all the lyrics. I try not to listen to it a lot. Mm, 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 mm. Trent Reznor should sing the next James Bond theme. Trent Reznor? I feel like he's gotten too artsy for, for music. <laughs> uh, I wish they made more movies like Sky Captain. What? We need more original movies. So you want more movies like that? Why? Hembo Kokomo. What? Mm. Mine is Eleanor Rigbo. In it. Rigbo. I was going to say Rigbo. <laughs> uh, and you know, now that I hear Eleanor Rigby, I feel like it's uh, Rigby's mom from regular show. Eleanor Rigby does some stuff and he's dead in the ground and a thing. Um, yeah, no, who did, uh, what was it? Oh, who's the band that did a cover of that recently? Was it Godspeed? They did a cover of Eleanor Rigby. That's pretty good. It's more metal-ish. It's kind of dark. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. I like Rocky Raccoon. The Rocky Raccoon. Bum, 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 bum. It, it's like a deep cut, considering. Rocky Raccoon's pretty good. Godhead. Oh, it was Godhead? Thank you. There's a punk version of Ed Lil Rigby done by bed called Jimmy Luma. And s what? Like a frog. Rigby's mom has got it going on. Rig Rigby. Rigby. Mm, I love the Godhead cover. Thank you. There you go. See, I remember that. Sort of. Wasn't it, Wasn't Godhead's first album uh, produced by Marilyn Manson? I feel like it was. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you, thank you. Mm, check that out. You laugh very hard from the 80s and kicks. Ooh, all right. Recently discovered Death Wish Coffee, Raven's Brew Coffee. Both of them made me realize that I've been drinking garbage for years. Yeah. There are certain coffees when you drink them, you're like, man, what have I been drinking? I always get the cheap brands. But I got to tell you, I, I am I am not buying Dunkin' Donut coffee anymore in the bags. Because the last couple of times I got them, they were kind of dreadful for my tastes. Yeah. 
Mm, I also like Racky Raccoon. There you go. I saw Rob Zombie's Dragula video. What's your opinion on it? It's good. It's good. There's a good parody of that called Santa Claus by Psycho Stick. They got a video for it, too. I like it. It's very colorful. It's like the Munsters, but just more. <laughs> just dot, dot, dot. What? Now I got the song stuck in my head. What? That's fun. I feel old. That, al that album came out in 1998. Back then, music was actually made by people, not robots. Uh, good songs, but I can't count to four. Psycho Stick? Yeah. Uh, I can't count to four. I, I still like two-ton paperweight. My car is a piece of beep. <laughs> Boom. I need my safe coffee. Space. Where's my safe space from idiots? Over there. Ah! Thank you, Black Rocky. <laughs> Like, I tried a Dunkin' Donuts hazelnut coffee. It smelled and tasted like nutter butters. <laughs> yeah, hazelnut's kind of dicey. Like, I've, I've, uh, it's my least favorite flavor of a coffee because it always seems to be off. I've had a couple of good ones, but. Uh, Neil Stenson really did a cover of Paint It Black, which was that song played in Wednesday. Yeah. Um. Oh, God. Who, who did that amazing cover of Paint It Black? Oh, you have no idea. The, the guitar work in that is insane. Let me, let me, let me. I, I literally have to look this up. I have to look this up. It'll take me like two seconds because I actually have it in my library. I can't play it because DMCA's and such. Uh, I want to say Glenn Tipton before I find it. Paint it. Yep. Boom. Glenn Tipton. G L E N N T I P T O N. It's on the album uh, Baptism of Fire. Like, quite literally, if you like that song, boom. Listen to that version. Dude, the guitar work in that is amazing. It's like, dude, it's so good. I don't even want to spoil it. Go. We'll look it up. Cheers. Nice. Yeah, it, 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 it's pretty heavy. And I'm just like, this is the version that should have been, <laughs> you know, at least for my taste. Uh, but, 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 but. Mm. Coffee flavor of choice is butter toffee. Ooh, butter toffee is good. Yeah. Go. I'm sad that Crosby of Crosby, Stills, and Nash died. Yeah, they passed away too. That was another one, bro. They all passing away. It happens. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. Um, I know Psycho Stick gonna be on Twitch tomorrow. Usually they do uh concerts. Well, not concerts, but like. It shows on Twitch. Yeah, they do have a channel. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -da 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 -do. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -da -da -do -do. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, do you like the white chocolate peppermint and their caramel coffee though? I've never, I've never had the white chocolate peppermint or the caramel. I'm trying to think of a really good flavored coffee. I like the pecan. Pecans. Pecans good. On another note, seeing Epica this Saturday. Oh, all right. There you go. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know. I uh, do I want to do a thing? I don't know. We're gonna see. Mm. Go. Maybe all these people passing see things are just getting so horrible they are going to the life library to return their life card to check out. Yeah. They go validate my parking. <laughs> Sorry, we can't do that. What? <laughs> well, I spent eighty years here. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Coffee. What about it? I'm starting to think of uh oh god there was a game I was going to talk about but I forgot what it was. No, not the ones that were canceled. There was a different game. Oh, whatever. I got distracted with all the DC news. Oh god. Oh god, isn't the Ant, Ant Man thing coming out? Like, what was it? March? I think the Ant the next Ant Man movie, right? Yeah, the Quantum Quantum Mania, whatever. Oh, God, that's going to be another thing. It's going to be like, oh, well, here we go. Multiverse of everything and this guy. <laughs> oh, God. 
But dude, the guy who plays Kang is a, is a really good actor. Dude, he was in uh when he was in the Loki series, the he he who remains guy, same actor. Excellent. Mm -mm. Uh, we need a gangster wheelchair, including bands that would never reform, but have no choice but to do so. Oh, like the Smiths. <laughs> I'm never going to play with Johnny Maul again. Yeah. Avoid, what? Avoid all the trailers. Keep my surprise for the movie. Nice. There you go. I don't have a drink. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm going to kind of wait for streaming on that. I, I'm literally not going to the movie theater for anything. I'll just wait. That's the thing, man. I'm just going to wait. Waiting for everything. Let me get more coffee. Oh, God. I feel like, see, just been talking about coffee to someone. That is very artsy. I like that. I'm jittery. I'm jittery right now. I'm jittery. I'm jittery, chat. I got the caffeine flowing through my veins. Flowing through the veins. Right. <laughs> kind of forever just hit streamings today. Oh, there you go. I got to uh, watch that. Yeah. All right. So I got uh, Megan and then Wakanda forever we can watch. Nice. There you go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. As soon as I free up time. I, you know, here's the thing about like watching stuff. We've been so preoccupied working on our own stuff that like everything else takes a back seat you know we're just like whatever bro i got work to do now you were working for props with steve oh my god this frustrated me so much does anybody here work with unity okay whatever go <laughs> please provide coffee insert full coffee cup into hands please wait for response ah, so much caffeine uh thank you no, we were working with uh, the Unity thing, and then we went. Through, we did all this work to give Steve new props, and then when we did the export and tried to put it into the program that we use for the VTuber thing, it's like, no, it's got to be exported from this particular version. Oh, my God. Okay, and here's the thing. To get these characters into Unity, you got to use a different plugin, but the plugin has been updated for newer stuff, not the older stuff, so then it turns out to be this whole janky thing of, this is not supported, blah, 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 blah. and it's getting to be a pain in the butt. I'm just like, my God, I'm just going to drag and drop a GIF. I don't care. <laughs> like, dude, it's just such a tedious process to do anything. Dude, and here's why I, I kind of I like IRL puppet stuff, because you know what? When I want to add a prop, there you go. I got my prop, you know? I don't have to I don't have to be imported into a program, right? I don't have to put on all this stuff, get all these little add-ins and plugins. I can just be like, "Bloom. There you go." You know? I got I got I I got my little my little thing, man. You know? There you go. And it's kind of anchored properly, too. So it's not like clipping into me. <laughs> there you go. I'm just saying. Hmm, that's why I didn't try the VTuber thing myself. Well, if you're just doing a base character, it's fine. But, you know, you start getting into all that other stuff, it's it's just so annoying. Yeah, go. Knockout City has been a big success following the close okay. beta test back in 2021. Season 3 then kick-started mm. their road to fame. And when it became a free-to-play game last June, oh, it's free it was a huge hit. There you go. Big things coming from them this year, as always. All right, there you go. Dude, I didn't know it was free-to-play now. No, I played it when it was like in demo mode or whatever, beta. And I was like, oh, this is pretty good. I didn't know it was free to play. Free to play, right? Hey, write it down. Dude, add to cart. Doesn't matter. Mm, I'm just waiting for the next season of the boys. Thank you. There you go. Uh, that's why I didn't do it. Yep. Welcome to the pain of modern IT. It's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But it, it, it boggles my mind that it's like, this program needs this to be exported from this particular version of a program, but then this particular version of the program won't accept you know, the versions of the plugins I need to bring this character model in there. So now I got to do this, I got to do that, and then I got to do this, and then I got to find a legacy version of that, try to find an old school version of this thing, and then hopefully it'll work. Fingers crossed. Nope, not going to work. Well, you know, whatever. I'm just going to, I'm just going to staple a JPEG to his head. Um, it, no, it literally doesn't matter to me right now. I'm just like, this is so tedious and annoying that it's unnecessary. Uh, do you have any suggestions for artists to check out on Etsy? I moved into a new apartment and I have a few spots I want to take advantage of. Um, I don't know, not off the top of my head. No, not us. No, 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 no. Um, good artist, idiot. 
I know. Anybody's got names of really good artists on uh, Etsy you want to toss up in the chat? Not links, just names. Depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for anime art? Are you looking for fantasy art? Do you want your walls to look like the side of a van from the 80s? You got to let me know. You know? Go. The Brawl Shop there has great Brawl bundles. Shop. You still got the TMNT Heroes bundle there and the are. TMNT Villains bundle. But there are good limited time bundles from which you can customize your brawler in a great way. Hey, you can customize things. Write it down. <laughs> Does it cost money? Because I don't like spending. <laughs> I'm so cheap. What do you want? Dude, our electric bill went up like $120. All right? I don't want to hear nothing. I'm not spending money on skins and tiny little tights for knockout people. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Displayed as some cool magnetic metal art pieces. Yeah, does that too. Hmm. It's all up in this plate. Let's see. Well, things seem to be working. All right. There we go. Uh, we got to try to get that webcam going again. Or 60 frames a second one. But I, I, like I said, I feel like it's it's sucking up too much resources somewhere and it's not processing fr frame rates properly. I don't know if that's an OBS issue or the camera just sucks. But it is Logitech, so who knows? Pumpkin Spats, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Spooky kitty cat. Ah, right. What the bleep? Up with the electric. Mine was about 100 bucks too. Um, yeah, apparently a lot of places raise their rates uh, for per kilowatt. So the place you were using, it was like, we found, we actually, okay, here's the thing. When you look at your bill, you're going to have a supplier and a deliverer. You know, hypothetically, say, whatever, uh, Bob is your delivery service, you know, but Bob also may be your supplier, but there's, say, Jeff is a different uh, supplier, and they'll actually be cheaper. So you got to look up. There's websites for it, so you can look it up. I actually got it for $0.10 cents cheaper per whatever they charge you for. Um, so we had to change over, and hopefully that'll go through, but it's like, my God. The thing jumped up exponentially for no flipping reason. You pay more for blackouts. Yeah, somebody's gonna get blacked out if if this keeps up, man. Because I got, dude, I gotta tell you, man. It's you. Here's the thing. Hey, power companies. You can't increase somebody's bill quite literally thirty percent without them it actually affecting the rest of their life. People gotta buy groceries. Inflation is everywhere. Yo. You're, you're literally hurting humans. I know you guys love rolling around in money. Oh, this feels so good. But, okay, you know, take a break from that. Think of other people for about five seconds. God. Logitech, most likely. It's why I upgraded to an Anchor Power Conference a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, but the thing is, the Logitech works fine with Steve because that's just doing face tracking and mapping, and that's fine. Um but I feel like adding in all the filters for, you know, green screen or whatever, um, it gets kind of wonky. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what it is. It's like I'm not getting the um, – it's their way of pushing solar, right? Dude, dude, you want to push solar? Just give it to me for free. <laughs> like, dude, I can't afford that either, even with, like, tax breaks and stuff. Besides, I don't have a surface big enough for it. Uh, okay, I need to know what works. How does it cost more for blackouts? Oh, probably because of repairs and stuff like that. There's enough talk about people being bleep by economic starvation. Yeah, pretty much. No, but that's what happens. It's like, uh, you know, between everything getting raised and stuff like that, now people got to make choices every day in their life. Well, let's see. Do I, like, you know, and we're here's the thing. We're really good with power. We're really good with power. We don't keep lights on randomly for no reason. We basically shut off all the power, power strips that things are connected to if we are not using them. We're very mindful of it. Unfortunately, we do work at home. So we're here all the time. You know? I vote we do what they did in trading places. Makes the vastly wealth vastly poor. Welcome to the other side of the looking glass. Now enjoy working 80 hours for $5 new wahaha. Yeah, that'll never happen. That, that was like a pipe dream of the 80s, you know? Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray, you know, trading places and just like, oh, well, it's, all of a sudden this uber rich understand what it's like to be super poor. Yeah, it never happens. <sighs> yeah. What? 
it, it's it's just it's a fact of life. Uh, I have the window to shut down. What? Oh God. Uh, the samurai guy to choose heat stroke or starvation. Exactly right. Eddie Murphy, not Bill Murray. Did I say Bill Murray? All right. No, I meant Eddie Murphy. So yeah, if I did say it wrong, then that's my problem. Hey, dyslexia. Dyslexia's a. Mm. Bump bump bump. Uh, bump 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 bump. No, it's Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. Did I say Bill Murray? Uh, maybe I had Ghostbusters in the back of my head. I don't know. Mm, read that read that yeah and they said oh i we still have this nvidia driver problem too which has been insane to me because this has been going on forever every time i upgrade uh the nvidia driver it basically destroys obs for some reason along with another program and i'm just like why like and I know it, I know it's the Nvidia driver because I've had to roll back the driver and every time I roll dr roll back the driver it's fine, but I don't know so it's like I'm I just been in like status, you know just stasis just sitting there just frozen in time with this stupid GPU driver. Mm. What's the card? Um, it's a GTX I think 2070. It's the mobile version. It's not like a real card, so uh, I haven't had any issues. It's a GTX mobile card. I feel like they don't care about mobile cards. It's like they just throw them in a laptop and they're like, whatever, good luck. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, a, it's an excellent laptop and everything works super good on it. And I'm just like, this one thing is basically to hold up. Mm, bah, bah, bah. Memory loss is so fun. Is it not? Psh. I don't think it's a memory loss. It's more of dyslexic disassociation. No, because I thought Dan Aykroyd, and I pictured somebody next to him, and it was probably Bill Murray because of Ghostbusters. Uh. And I, I've gone through all the normal things that everybody says to do with that. If you update this, then turn off that. You know, do this, blah, blah. Make sure this is reselected. Do -ba -da -ba -do -ba -da. I, I literally went through about 15 different troubleshooting things, and basically everything just gave my computer the finger, and I was just like, nope, not going to work. Mm, they do usually work together. They do. Mm -mm -mm. Pom, 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 pom. You know what works together? My mouth and coffee. Boop. <laughs> Blah. Blah. Mm. BIOS upgrade, the whole computer. Here's the thing about tech support I don't like when a suggestion is given with a question mark. <laughs> Because that means we're both in the same boat. It's just like, I don't know. How about this? <laughs> That's what worries me. Maybe this could work. <laughs> no, I meant, did you try that? No, my BIOS is up to date. Like it's 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 already. Oh, so you were you were asking if I did it rather than making the suggestion? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, no, because I've had tech support like that. I've been on the phone. Did, how about this? Maybe, <laughs> maybe if you do that, no, <laughs> no. Mm. Uh, have I taken my computer for a walk lately? I, I know, but I'm about to, you know, take it parasailing without a parasail. Um, I know. I'll double check the miles, but I think we just did it like what was it, a month ago, and we were still having problems. Uh, you're normally quite thorough, so I don't want to suggest stuff you haven't done. Oh, okay. Thank you. At least you know. It's not it's not like I'm going through a script with somebody on, like, tech support. Yeah, I try, I turned it on and off again. Thanks. Yeah. No, I reinstalled, uninstalled. Yeah, okay. Did that. Yeah, I did safe mode. Okay. Yeah, I turned off the antivirus thing just in case that was it. Yeah, no, I did that. No, I had to roll it back. Yes, I did a clean install of rollback. Did you do a clean install of the new one? Yes, I did that. You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on for, like, I quite literally do not ask unless I have tried everything also searching on the internet. Even the dumb things. Like, you know, uh, here, hold these two buttons together and try to install it that way. You know, <laughs> it's like, I, 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 sure. Okay, I just shut down my computer. Whatever. <laughs> Could try safe mode. Yeah. Uh, we did safe mode. Still didn't do anything. 
A lot of issues with mobile graphic cards are directly related to them having proprietary firmware from a laptop manufacturer. Just because NVIDIA released an update doesn't mean HP Dell, whoever has. Oh. Oh. Well, that, see, that's a, that's a bit of information I did not know. I should write that down and just double check things. Maybe if I go to the uh, laptop manufacturer, there's probably maybe a thing for it. Maybe there's a little kernel I got to put in there. Maybe I got to do a little DLL file. No, your DLL, man. Have you, you tried you using turning your... it on and off again? I have. Numerous times. I even yelled at it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like they should... This is what I don't like about the multiple issues with graphic cards and stuff like that. None of these manufacturers want to work in tandem. Nobody wants to work in unison. They're just like, oh, we're going to update this. Oh, wait, you guys updated this? We didn't even realize that. I mean, we should probably patch that so there's no an issue here, but whatever. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Everyone's got to be on the same page. Well, this is really old. It's like a legacy laptop. So we're not, hey, what do you mean it's old? It's 2021, bro. That's oh, already 2023. That's like two years old, man. Forget it. What's up, fun pug guy? What's up? Uh, might have to check the manufacturer driver updates that window doesn't always catch. Yeah. I mean, that's it. I mean, we tried that. Um, you know what? I'll go, here's what I think. I'll go directly to the manufacturer's web, website and just see what they have. But I really think it's all up to date. And, God, there, there was an instance where I actually updated new um, manufacturer stuff for a, a laptop, like, two years ago. And it was like, it messed things up like you wouldn't believe so, I don't know. It's hit or miss, man. Mm, mm. I fixed it, but it was not easy. Well, we updated an old, uh, basically, it was like a tablet slash laptop kind of thing. We updated it with new blah, 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 and basically it, it destroyed touchscreen. It was obliterated. Like, it just did not work, and I had to roll back, like, 15 different things to get it to work. It was insane. Uh, Linux seems to pay if laptop manufacturers can't do agree on a consistent agreement firmware. It's just, it, it should all work. It should just all work. <laughs> uh, it's 2023. We can't even get laptops to work together. I'm going to drink water, but you know. I'm really good with taking apart laptops and putting them back together. Mm. Dun, dun. And in Asus' case, not even that. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's the thing. We had the, uh, what, Asus T100 Transformer. It was a re really old laptop. We've shown it on a uh, thing here. Um, dude, I took that thing apart. Dude, that thing is, dude, the internal workings of that is amazing. The battery is flipping huge, you know? But uh, now we took that apart. It was fine. You know, we just changed things out. All right. Mm. Or the SSD HD. Yeah. Dude, don't do anything with your laptop unless it's just a hard drive. Any other thing. Um, the laptop we have now is. What is this? Who makes this? God, I don't even remember who made this. What the Asus Rogue Strix? It's literally got three slots on the motherboard for extra ssd hard drives this is a laptop this is a laptop yes I, I i literally can put three hard drives in here it's amazing where the rogue laptop line doesn't need touching yeah apparently it does <laughs> apparently it does because apparently it doesn't work at the thing i love asus asus is usually re really good matter x what's up that's not a laptop that's a house what I guess. I mean, it's all right. Dude, the one I had before that, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I use it every once in a while for certain things. Um, but that thing is just boom. Where do I get the heavy-duty laptop? Yeah. Well, I mean, basically, it's like it's it's a computer in and of itself, you know? So, like, a decent one. That's why I can stream from it and everything like that. And we get it just in case there's, like, something happens. You know, we can literally grab it and still continue to work. Always got to have a backup for a backup for a backup. Mm. ThinkPad. I don't like that little red nub. Uh, not much just looking over Transformer reveals from yesterday. Macross Plus. Ooh, nice. I heard they haven't really been the same since they split from Asus and S-Rock. I don't know. They've been all right. 
I love that little red number. I love that little red num. Something to poke at. I don't know. I never used one, actually. A ThinkPad. Never. My entire life. I don't know why. Bam! Oh, that was a good use of emotes there. Poking a little red dot. Nice. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, was Dawn going to stream later today? There's a possibility, chat. It's a possibility. Mm, I've been on a music video binge today and have seen Hasselhoff's True Survivor video and that what an 80s action movie fever dream that was. Yes. Though I will say David Hasselhoff did an excellent cover of The Passenger by uh, Iggy and the Stooges surprisingly it's actually decent emily autumn also did a cover of it which is pretty decent too there you go i'm the passenger it's a good song now i have that shaking hands with danger theme shaking hands with danger the weird theme that i got stuck in my head was the uh as riff track stuff goes uh the one for norman my favorite Hasselhoff thing was when he did Jekyll and Hyde. I didn't even know he did that Jekyll and Hyde. Nice. So that's something to look up. I know last time I saw him at anything was uh, Devil's Carnival. Uh, Alleluia, Devil's Carnival. Yeah, uh, oh, God, Paul Servino died, too. He was in that. He was in both of them. Or was he just in that one? I think he was in both of them, right? Are they ever going to make a third one? Where is my uh, part three Devil's Carnival? It's the Devil's Carnival. Come on. Mm. Bam, bam, bam. Break it out, laptop, heavy, hard case, most used in the mids and the cops and army. Nice. There you go. Bam, bam. Hooked on a feeling. Mm. It was a play, but it was videotaped for home audiences. Wait, what? Really? Ah, filmed like a movie almost. Nice. That's cool. Mm, 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 mm. I wonder if they ever re-released -re -re that. Oh, um, oh, God, what was that movie that they're putting on? Uh, they're actually releasing. Oh, there was a movie I was interested in. Never mind. Mm. Apparently, I've been hit with the bits cool down. Like I was saying, when they introduced Deep Space Dispatches and... Kansas City in season three, there was what? In for wide ride in most cases. Deep space. I said I said dead space. My god, dyslexia. Stop. Really? There's a cooldown for that? I didn't think there was a cooldown. That reminds me, I want to go back and watch Phantom of the Opera with Robert England. I don't know why. I didn't think I liked that movie, but it's there, and I kind of want to see it again for some reason. Maybe i got to give it more of my attention. I have a, I have a bad problem with just throwing movies on in the background, and then I don't really pay attention to most of it. Then I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, no, that's weird. i got to make more time for movies. I really do. i make time for movies because i got a bunch sitting here and a bunch of enemies. Well, we got a Amaro Chan season two on Blu-ray. They finally released it. We got it. Hey. And an old movie that just came out on Blu-ray, uh, Young Sherlock Holmes. It's actually very dark considering what it is. But it's it's pretty decent if you've never seen it. I like the Nightwish version of a Phantom of the Opera song. I, I saw Phantom of the Opera on, on, on the Broadway there, and I wasn't crazy about it. Yeah, the chandelier and everything. I was kind of, I was kind of, I was, I felt like I was in a, in a world of overrated hype, if that makes any sense. It was all right, but I, I not for the price of the tickets we paid. Dude, come on. That was super expensive. The only reason we went, it was like a, a birthday gift. And they were like, dude, we're going, we're going to see Phantom of the Opera for your birthday. I'm like, 
Oh, God. Uh, aside from the anxiety and everything of having to go for, uh, you know, a large auditorium feel, filled with people I don't like for something I just wasn't interested in. It was, what am I going to do? Say no? I was like, hmm. Got to go actually do some work. Sorry. I don't know. I'll try to make the best of it. There you go. Uh, thanks for being here. Go. Mm, Glitch Production has been making a big splash on YouTube with Meta Runner and Murder Drones, having thousands of millions of views for each episode. Well, tell Glitch Productions about Foamy and be like, bro, they need millions of views too. What? Well, we had millions of views before YouTube took all our stuff down. <laughs> God. Uh, it's Groundhog Day Eve. Oh, that's where we got to uh, look at the shadow of a, a, a rodent. And if the shadow comes alive, it mauls everybody. That means it's going to be a longer winter. That's how shadows work, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's a thing. I feel like it would be more fun, too. Everybody take keep an eye on the shadow of the groundhog. If it starts to move on its own, be very, very careful. It's going to be a long winter. Also, we will all die and not live through it. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are we here? Why are we watching this? I feel like I just put myself in harm. Just to see if we're going to have a longer winter. Why do we still do this? <laughs> I feel like the groundhog is just going to go back in the hole because it's bleeping cold. Uh, there you go. I would. It's going to be like negative two tomorrow. Uh, Phil sees a shadow, and then three to six more weeks of winter, according to the woodchuck. Yep. That's it. The woodchucks. My dad went to see Phantom of the Opera with my mom when I was in middle school. He played the soundtrack in his car constantly. I think bird is the word from Family Guy. Oh, God. Phantom of the Opera. Mm, 27 days to still 27 days. What? What? 27 days. I feel like they should add extra days to Feb, the February, because it's like so short. I hate it. I shouldn't have to pay a full month's rent on a month that's only 28 days. Stupid. I wish they did a good Phantom of the Opera cover. Somebody just said that. <laughs> Oh, you're driving me to drink, chat. You're driving me to drink. Coffee. Mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. Boop. Every month should be 50 days long. Sorry, I was detracted. I'm not I'm not really getting on you. I'm just being goofy. Uh let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. To this day, I can't stand that music. Yeah, that'll happen. You were very lucky. Your parents didn't play music out a lot because they got sick of music real quick. You know, so they're like, yeah, I can't hear this anymore. Mm -mm. Bim, bim, bim. Lucky you. It's going to be negative 16 here tomorrow. Dow. Mm. Never trust a woodchuck. Listen to the beavers, the true sages of the woods. Mm. Sage. <laughs> Chuck Robot, what's up? What's new with me? Um, I don't know. I just burped and I taste sesame seeds. Does that help? Okay, here, here's what I did. I did two things yesterday. Chat, you want to know what I did? All right. Here. Oh, God. In an attempt to eat a little bit healthier and not consume as, as much my body weight and salt. Um, no, we made tofu yesterday, right? But we made a particular type of tofu, right? We cut it into little slices. We threw it in the oven. Before we put it in the oven, we covered that stuff with sesame seeds. Two kinds. Black sesames and your generic, you know, sesame seeds. We did that. But wait, there's more. We made everything bagel tofu. Everything bagel tofu. Well, why am I trying to eat healthy? Be because I don't want to die from stu stuff I can prevent. <laughs> um, dude, everything bagel tofu. All right. It needed more salt, but we didn't put any salt on it. So it was basically like no milligrams of salt. Um, it was... All Did right. you open any of the sesame seeds? Did I? No, why would I do that? I don't know. No, you just let them cook and they basically bake in their own oil. I got to open up sesame seeds? Dude, what, what do you... you have microscopic tools under a, a microscope and I'm just like, hey, let's see what's inside. No. Why would I do that? 
Well, no, they're already shelled. Is that what you mean? Is that even possible? <laughs> no, dude, I love sesame seeds. They're so good. Don't eat them if you have diverticulosis. You will die. Um, yeah, no, but dude, they actually, it, it came out decent. Again, it, it was lacking flavor because apparently salt is super important to flavor. Um, oh, open sesame. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay. No, but the Everything Bagel one came out decent. Again, it needed some kind of salt, but it's all right. Yeah, go. The way you said, but wait, there's more. Gave me a flashback to the 90s infomercials yeah. I was stuck watching when I couldn't sleep at night as a kid. Yeah, pretty much. But wait, there's more. It can also cut this, that, and your own hand. That's how sharp this knife is. I'm bleeding profusely right now. I'm going to need several hundred stitches just to close the wound. You too can order this before I pass out. Yeah. What? Those knives are sharp. Um, let's see. The hooked on a feeling video is insane. What's with those angel children and wiener dogs? If you know, you'll know. I haven't seen that in forever. Insert the product by JML. <laughs> What, home shopping network, all that stuff. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Damage. Oh, uh, yeah, no, damage patrol is being canceled. Well, it's ending. I don't know if it's canceled or ending. Titans is going away, too. Later, bro. <laughs> what is JML? I don't know. The Justice Mediocre League, JML. No one can replace Billy Mays. Hi, Billy Mays here. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I got this really cool cleaner to tell you about today. Why? Billy, Billy, stop. Well, then there was the Sham Wow guy who was just a little over the top. He's like, hey, it's a Sham Wow. This is the best thing ever. If, if you don't even see that, how great this is, I don't even know, I don't even know what to tell you. It was like his dismissive nature in that commercial is just like, you know, hey, if you can't see this is good, then, you know, well, move along. If I'm ever feeling down, I'll watch that video and feel a lot better. Nice. JML is the UK home shop, a shopping prep peddler for monthly installments, etc. Oh, that's right. For only $9.99 a month for 15 months, you can get this knife. Wait, so this knife is like $150? Yeah, but you wouldn't know that because it's only nine ninety nine per month for fifteen months. Wait, what? What was that last part? It's only nine ninety nine fifteen months. So it is only nine ninety nine. That's right for fifteen months. You keep mumbling. What are you saying? Nothing. Buy the knife. <laughs> mm. Slap chop. There you go. I could see that being a useful tool, but I never got one. I always wait for those things to turn up in like a thrift store. You know? Slap shop. It's a lot of damage. All the damage. Dude, you'd be surprised how many people still shop at like home shopping networks, you know? I can lie, those type of jobs seem like a fun job. Show seemed like a fun job. Yeah. Nine point nine nine until that sales tax comes up. Yeah, right. Nine only nine ninety nine plus shipping and handling for fifteen months. Wait, we gotta pay shipping and handling for fifteen months for who? <laughs> I'm gonna get one shipment. You two can have this amazing deal for just five easy payments of nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. It's practically a steal at this price. Pretty much. <laughs> That's right. Only nine ninety nine ninety nine. I mean, anyone with a logical brain is definitely going to jump on this deal while you still can. Yeah, there's only a couple of left in stock right now. If you don't get this and you miss out, you know, don't come crying to me later. What are you even selling? It's a authentic samurai sword with authentic in quotes. Wait, what? Yeah, it definitely made my day. I couldn't stop laughing to surprise on a random green green screen insert. What? Mm, bim, bim, bim. I knew Billy Mays back in my salesman days on the East Coast. He was a legend in the sales scene. He also did more... Really? Oh, so he was one of those guys. Oh, maybe that's why there was a heart thing. Because then he just... Oh, wait, no, he hit his head in a plane, right? And then it just he ended up hurting something in his brain. I forget how he died. When I see those as seen on TV stores, I always give it a quick look to laugh at the products. Yeah. 
The slap chop is okay. Yeah, I could I could see that working though. I like French fry cutters. I do like French fries. I just shouldn't be eating them all the time. I gotta update like emotes and stuff. I feel like updating emotes. What kind of emotes you want, chat? Oh. We got a lot. I'm gonna see which one's the least used, and then I'm gonna just throw that out. Get something different in there. After we I wanna overhaul the intro screens too. I want you to do everything all the time, every day. Fix it. Mm. I do want French fries now. Damn it. Ugh. Authentic samurai sword replica. That's right. Remember that samurai sword you used to appreciate in 2000 BC? That's right. You too can have an authentic replica of that very same sword for only $9.99.99. 15, every 15 months. Wait, what? Mm, boom, 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 boom. He hit his head getting out of a plane and died of an aneurysm a couple of days later. Isn't that some messed up crap? Like, you literally, you can just bump your head and be like, oh, man, that sucks. You know? You go out, go about your life for a couple of days, and then you just pass out, not even knowing there was something going on there. That's crazy. Always wear a helmet, chat. Don't forget to bring a helmet. Don't you mean towel? Nope, helmet's going to help you a lot more. <laughs> Want a Chibi Jermaine episode? There's, a, there's like 13 of them out there, or 14 or something. I don't know. I lose track. Right. Dude, we, we still have audio for like other episodes that we just never did. You know? I blame YouTube. They like took a bunch of those down too, and I'm like, come on. Uh, there was an infomercial for a product called Fushi. What is that? That was a glorified metal ball for contact juggling or jiggling. Oh, no, I remember that. It was like a little little ball, right? Yeah, I think I, re I remember that. Tally will help you get high. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, emote PG. Oh, chibi emote. Um, I don't know what we would do with that. I don't know how many people would use it. Juggling. Okay, juggling. I, I don't know how many people... Here's the thing. When you show something like that weird few, few silly whatever, few, few silly whatever ball, a juggling ball, I can't imagine you really appealing to a vastly broad audience during an infomercial who are seeking out a gateway product for juggling. It doesn't seem like it's really going to hit home. You know, I don't feel like it's a mass marketing kind of thing. You ever wanted to learn how to juggle? You ever want to do it in style? This flipping thing is for you. Like, what? I have a tennis ball. I have three of them, in fact. That's juggling. Yeah, but it's not going to look as cool. Uh, all right. Well, whatever. What am I going to do? Make this a living? <laughs> I don't know. Mm, PayPal is going to lay off 2,000 people. That's 7% of the employees. Yeah, everybody's laying off everybody. Uh, basically, they're just like, everyone get out. Here, here's the thing. I feel like a lot of those tech jobs, though, and when it's a tech sector thing, you know, again, I've said this before, I feel like Elon clearing house for Twitter kind of set the ball rolling where everyone is just like, dude, if he can keep Twitter running with 50 people instead of 3,000, let's see what we can whittle down here. Plus, there is the possibilities of a recession. You know, so people are like just canning people left and right because they're like, we don't want to deal with this. Um, so it is what it is, and hopefully those people find jobs, but I don't know if their positions were redundant, you know? Kind of weird. Yeah, there's not a lot of mass appeal for, you know, infomercials for juggling at three in the morning. Unless you're so tired and disoriented and you're like, yeah, you know, maybe I should get into juggling. Let's, you know, I'll order that. You know, add to cart. Sure. What is juggling? I'll impress that, that girl at my office. She'll like that. <clears throat> And then, like, you know, three days later, you just weird juggling balls show up to your doorstep, and you're like, what the hell did they order? Just, what is this? A juggling? What, juggling? What is this? All right, let's watch the video. I'm never going to be able to do that. I mean, it looks cool, but, you know, you play with it for five minutes, and then a ball flies out of your hand into your television, and that costs you another $2,000 to replace. Hmm. In other news, to those who still own Xbox 360 and have purchased the digital games, Microsoft planning to delist 46 games from the console marketplace next week on February 7th, so beware. Which ones? I need a list. 
No, I still buy stupid games from old consoles. Which ones? Need to know. You gotta let me know which games. Give me a list. I need a list of games that are going away from Xbox. I Here's the thing, man. As much as I like digital games and stuff like that, yo, stop delisting crap. God, hate it. Because then they're gone forever, you know? Bring back Heelys. They still make them, I think. No one looks as good as David Bowie handling juggling balls. I see what you did there. No one looks as good as David Bowie I, I handling just, juggling I balls. I read it. I read it. And then a robot read it. You got two reads out of one word. <laughs> Thank you. Ash Dr. Horn. The list is on the website. Oh, look at you saying go to the website, you schmuck. <laughs> but it's almost 50 games. Oh, my God. Dude, I, I can't buy 50 games that are going to be dislisted. I gotta, I'm got going to have to pick and choose. I'm going to have to pick and choose. Oh, God. No. No. No, 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 no. No. Why are you, is anything good? No, man, because it's always look like, unless I got a physical copy of it, I don't really care. Sometimes I just like the dig digital version for, like, you know, convenience and whatnot. You know, I don't want to have to go look for the disc and put it in there and be like, oh, this game needs an update. Oh, shoes. What's that? Mm, really? No, I'm just messing with you. Come on. Uh, let's see. Come on. You're a New Yorker. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Most of, the, most of the things that were on Xbox 360 are available via Steam or Microsoft Store. Even weird stuff like uh, Double Dragon Neon, which is 100% worth getting. Really? Oh. Also, Bullet Witch. Dude, we got Bullet Witch. That was, a, that was a good old game. I think it was actually made by the developers that inevitably made uh, Bayonetta. So if, if you've never played that game, I'm not going to say it's great by today's standards. For back then, it was kind of fun. This is why emulators exist. Yeah. Mm, some of the Assassin's Creed on a couple of Call of Duty games. Really? Some of the Assassin's Creed's? Bro. Y Ubisoft, you're, look, you're hemorrhaging money left and right. Why Why are you going to take away your main franchise games from ye olden time? Yeah, whatever. Let's see. We got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4, Assassin's Creed uh, Liberation HD. Oh. Blood of the Werewolf. I wanted Bl Blood of the Werewolf. Damn. Blue Dragon, Breakdown Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty, Ghost Castle, Castle Crashers. Oh, come on, dude. Castle Crashers is a classic. Um, Cloning Clyde, Counter-Strike, uh, Dark, Dark Souls. They're taking away Dark Souls. Dark Siders 2, Daytona. Let's see, Defense Grid is going to start. Uh, Demon of the Iron. Uh, Off-Road, Jet Set Radio. No. It's Jet Set Radio. Mass Effect 2. Monopoly Deal, Mutant Blob Attacks. Ooh, I have Mutant Blob Attacks. There you go. Uh, N Plus, Outpost, uh, Pe Peggle 2. Oh, Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds. Oh, I have that. That's a good game. I like that. Sega Vintage Collection, Alex Kidd, Skate 2, South Park Stick of Truth. Really? Spelunky? I got Spelunky. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Gun Under Public Orange Black, Red Star Raven. Oh, man. What? Yeah, apparently those are getting delisted. Dude, what, February 7th? I got to go back and double check, man. Thank you for posting that. I appreciate it. No, it really lights the uh, fire under my butt to get these things. Um, Castle Crashers is still going to be on. The, now, these are just for 360, though, because Castle Crashers is technically backwards compatible, and it's on Xbox One or Series X and all that other stuff. Mind you, if you already owe them, they will always be available to you to download. Yeah, but some of them might own. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eh, I got to go buy them. Done. Done. All right, but listen, there's going to be things delisted. What? Games are being de delisted oh, from the Xbox 360. 360. Yeah. yeah. I know. You didn't even tell me. I just found out after you started streaming and I was looking at my phone oh. just now. Hi. Hello. Get off me. Uh, no, I'm upset now. Dude, stick a truth. Stick a truth. I played that. Hey, what for everybody else? Also, ca cra wait, also Castle Crashers Remaster is going away? Bro. No, Jet Set Radio. You got to get Jet Set Radio. Now, uh, okay, here's the thing. Are they just going to be a uh, hold up? Steam? 
What about Steam? I have Jet Set Radio. On Steam? But if people are in the Xbox ecosystem, they may want to get it. Yeah. All right. No, 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 no. Castle Crash Remasters was given away as a free upgrade of the Xbox One. Okay, there you go. Nice. We got that. Um, but no, 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 no. Here's the thing, though. If, if Is it going to be delisted from the Xbox uh, One current gen era thing? Someone needs to read the full article. But if you already own any of the delisted games, you will still be able yeah, to I download know that. them. You just won't be able to buy them if you don't own them. That everybody That's knows that. Saying. That's what we're saying. They're not going to be available to buy. Yeah. Uh, I know they're still tied to my account if I have them. I still got Jet Set Radio, so I'm good with that. But I'm just saying, for if there's any games that people don't actually have, you're going to have to double look and uh, check. You know. Yeah, I, cha -cha -cha. Didn't hear anyone, I didn't hear you say that you couldn't download them. That's not no. what you said. No, that's not what I said. You just can't buy them. You just can't buy them. Yeah, so I need access. I need access. King Toy, hi. King Toy says hi. What's up? Hello. Justice 360 versions. Oh, it's just... Oh, okay. All right, I feel a little bit better. Justice 3 three City versions. That's a lot of games, though, to be delisting de all at once. You know? I hate when they do that. Hate it. Mm. So you can still buy the Xbox... One and the Xbox Series X version. Yeah, I guess. Are they so, more expensive? Uh, probably. <laughs> Until Microsoft decides to remove them fully from their services, Earthworm Jim HD and Magic the Gathering, for example. Um, uh, well, Magic the Gathering, I think, was heavily reliant on a server, so it's like once the servers are gone, and it's like nobody cares. You can't do anything with it. Hey, you know that game? Um, oh god, what was it called? Uh, Crime Site. Don. What? There was a game called Crime Site. Crime Site. Crime Site. It was like an anime whodunit game. Oh, that's probably why I've never heard of it. Uh, <clears throat> what? I'm sorry. I I, I, extend the olive dramp to the weeb verse, okay? I don't. I don't. Olive Where branch. It, well, it doesn't matter anymore because they're discontinuing it. They're basically killing it off. It's only been on the market for 10, 10 months. 10 months and they're canceling it. Also, where? Rumbleverse. Rumbleverse is going away. I know Rumbleverse is going away. Yeah. Where is, where is Crime Site? Being it doesn't matter. It's going away. It Everywhere. The entire planet. Was it that Apparently, bad? Apparently, the payer play base isn't there. Payer pay base. Oh, so it's reliant on... Humans. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, God forbid you have, like, CPUs in there and, you know, maybe make it fun. No, because, uh, like, a lot of games are like that, where they're multi... They rely on other people to play with. Patch it peer-to-peer. -peer. No, there's no game. Patch it peer-to-peer. -peer. But if there's no Peter. one to play it, what does it matter? It's still available, and you can get friends together. Couch co-op, bro. Well, that's that many friends to get Yo. together to have two sides of a team. Three friends? Even I can pull them out of my butt. You <laughs> can play teams versus teams with three friends. I don't know how many players need it, but there you go. I, you still have Yaris on the Xbox 360. Oh, yeah. I, I have, you have I, that too? Yeah. No, Yaris. That's like, that's like my pride. But that's your first game, right? That, no, no. The free first one? It was, it's just a pride because you can't download it anymore. And so, like, it's a thing if you have Yaris. Yaris. On your 360. That like, and Doritos Ooh. Crash Course. Yeah, uh, Doritos Crash Course. Which is still available, it's actually. Good. Yeah. That's a good game. All right. I am not listening to anyone anymore. What? I got Yaris and, and Doritos Crash Course, bro. Doritos Crash Course was good. Yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, so what are you doing with your life? I'm getting ready to make uh, linguine with clam sauce. Well, well. God. Not everything's going to smell like clams. Oh. Sorry. Oh, God. All right, you clam it up out there, and then I'll I'll try to decontaminate everything. Oh, God. Ah, uh, see, Don and I are on the same wa wavelength. Yeah, but it's the Yaris wavelength. Is that anything to be like, being like, dude, Yaris? Yaris wasn't that good, but no. Doritos Crash Course was. All right, I get that. That was yeah. fun. I missed using my avatars to uh, play games. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that, that, that's an underused uh, thing. I really like you having a representation of me in a game. Yeah, like what? how come Xbox doesn't do that much anymore? You know, because Nintendo no does. Cares, and people made fun of them for it, so they listened to the Twitter. Stop, and yo. Stop doing yeah, it. Yeah, everybody stop listening to the internet for the most part. All right, like for ninety percent of the things. Okay, just worry about whether we Sonic were, looks we stupid just, or what. We were discussing that about hmm. how like people don't really know what they want. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. But they demand it. Yeah. Give me everything I want, even though I don't know what it is. <laughs> no, so about. 
yeah, go smell up the kitchen because I gotta wrap this up soon eventually, and I I don't want to smell the ocean. All right. Now I'm hungry. All right. What I said the word clams. That should not make you hungry. If anything, that should cause a gag reflex. I'm not I'm not a fish person. I don't like clams. Huh. Yeah, both left for the games or leaving the store soon. I have those for PC with all the mods and stuff, so uh, that's all right. Dude, I love the mods for uh, Left 4 Dead. Dude, I got Lollipop Chainsaw in there, man. Come on. It's good. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait. Hey, Dawn! Dawn! Bro! Dawn! Dawn! You know, and they always say, say guys don't pay attention. Dawn! Calamari? No. No, because she's going to make a bunch of pasta there, right? And I, I don't want her just dumping all that clam crap all over it when I can use some to make peanut butter noodles. No, that's all right. All right. I'm, I'm going to hold this against her. She's going to ruin all the pasta. I'm going to have to make my own. <sighs> yeah. It's true. Everyone, you know, you know, men just don't listen. Yeah. That's that's not not a good not a good preconceived notion to have. I listen to everything. I just ignore most of it. That's the thing. There's a big difference between hearing it and ignoring it. We hear it. We just don't care. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Look, and now, now she's just wandering around, just eat, eating pasta and stuff. And we're like, oh god. Uh, I don't like clams, oyster, octopus, good. basically anything from a fish family. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fish person. Mm. I have hearing issues. I think. Mm. Maybe. Wait, why don't you find that out? My wife doesn't like fish either. She won't even eat tuna fish sandwiches. Well, tuna fish is like the worst fish. That is the fishiest of fish. It, it quite literally is. And the only way I can eat tuna fish is if it is encased in black pepper. Basically, I need my taste buds to shrivel up and die before fish hits it. Or I will die. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried clams before, but I enjoy calamari. Then you probably like clams. In tuna casserole, it's not bad. Yeah, we did try that, and that was that was uh, somewhat acceptable, you know. But then I put so much everything on top of it, it kind of just kills it, you know. Hmm. Let me get more coffee. I can't believe they're making fish things. It's gonna be all gross. Everything is going to smell gross. I'm going to have to put on like an air filter. Uh, this looks like the Spock version. Now, the last one looked like uh, Pauline was a Vulcan. <laughs> this coffee is highly illogical. I use Lay's chips, too. Oh, dude, you know what's really good to top weird casseroles with is uh, those little Fritos. Anybody here have Fritos? Those things are amazing. What about other fishy smelling objects? I don't like fish in general. So Cora just started streaming. Yay, there you go. Mm, I've tried calamari, mussels, and oysters, but not clams. Mm. Oh, you know who I want to see if uh, they're streaming after this? Um, uh, b -b 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 Lana, Lana, Lana Lux. They raided us a couple of times, and you know what? They put a game together, and bro, quite literally, their game got like funded on kickstarter before i even got the tweet that it was uh, that a kickstarter was available i'm like dude seriously like i find that amazing uh, mm, 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 mm. so i know we'll, we'll see we'll see i don't I, see i'm gonna be on here for a bit anyway uh, okay i can i see chat refresh my, my, my phone my phone I've tried calamari. Okay, read that. Uh, no, uh, read that. Uh, rescued a cat off a street that refuses to eat fish. Oh, God. Yeah. Picky eaters. There you go. I have looked at Lana's game. Looks fun. There you go. They do a lot of work, and that, that's what I actually really like is they, they, no, Lana's got a work ethic that is, I, I like that. I like to see people just saying, you know, I'm working for and they get into it, and they work, and they're constantly working. And you can actually learn a lot through of coding, because I, I know jack about coding, all right? I'm, I'm like an HTML guy, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so it's good to learn, like, little things here and there and see what things do what. So it's kind of it's interesting. Yeah. Mm. 
Would you like a tater tot hot dish? No. Tater tots? I need my tots. Oh. But, no, Dawn's not streaming. She was thinking about it, but no, she's got other, like, things to do because we got a bunch of stuff going on. Pauline's look is super adorable today. Yeah, well, we got out of school. Mm. Right, spooky college. There you go. Um, not a tots guy. Tots. What? Dude, I haven't had tots in a while. Dude, last time I had tater tots, they were terrible. They were terrible tater blah, 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 blah. terrible tater tots. Mm, I don't know. I haven't had a good brand in a while. They they always seem so grizzly. You know, like somebody rolled up hash browns and then just dipped them in grease. And I'm like, these things are way too greasy. Yeah, but you know, again, I always get like cheap bargain bin ba brands, so you know, that's probably my fault. Delisted games I don't care for. Boom. You think Konami is going to get rid of Baylor Jail? Now, because I know Steve played it a couple of times, and every time they go to play it, they're like, "Dude, somebody play Baylor Jail," you know? And their player base is really small, so it's like kind of. Kind of jank. Binging with Babish recently did a video about Tater Tots from Breaking Bad. Oh, I sent you a package of stuff. Hope it's getting to the bail box next week. Ooh, Eagles, thank you. We'll keep an eye out for it. We haven't gone to the post office in a couple of days, actually, so we got to get on that. Got to get on it. So is Don streaming today? I do not think so. Now, there was rumors, but probably not. Bloody Angel, what's up? How's it going? Air fryer Tater Tots are less grizzly. Yeah, because all the grizz falls to the bottom. They all fall to the bottom, then you got a bucket of grease stuck at the bottom. And then you give it to the plants outside, see how they react. Then all of a sudden you got greasy plants who are half dead. Don't feed your plants grease. Doesn't work. Now, if you, if you think, no, you know, you know, you don't give like a, a pumpkin patch a bunch of bacon grease and expect it to taste like pumpkins. Um, what days does Steve stream randomly? Steve just pops up whenever they want to. Or if Dawn's not streaming. Yeah. That's his motto. When the dawn doesn't rise, Steve shall stream. Let's play on words. Um, but I don't know. Whenever whenever Steve's got the inkling, how come he gets to do that? He makes his own schedule. Because he has to work at the maid cafe. Shut the hell up. Um, no, that, that, dude, that, that's not even right, man. Dude, preferential treatment. Where's HR? HR! Vampire gets to make their own schedule. No, man, I got to come out here every Wednesday and Sunday. And Steve's like, well, maybe I'll show up today. What do you mean he's freelance? You're you're a freelance. Uh, Steve streams nights most of the time. Don't pee on plants either. Who wants to do that? Been scoping this dang band bust. Oh, God, it's taking forever, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Or pour soda on them. Don't pour soda on them. Dude, it'd be cool if you could. You know, like you had uh, avocado plants. You pour a bunch of Dr. Pepper on there, and the avocados taste like Dr. Pepper. Oof. I wish science worked like that. <laughs> Steve is an intern. Yeah. What? I don't know. I mean, he's he's got his stuff together. He's, he's Dude, when you see him in the office, he's got this take-it-or-leave-it air about him where he's just like, yeah, whatever. It's like even if he got fired, I don't think he would care. He'd be like, okay, whatever. Mm, birds eat grease. Slopez! Hey! Thank you, Slopez gifted a sub to Argalian. Hey, you got a sub, which means candy. Slopez, hope you're doing well. What's up? Bondo, it's got electrolytes. That remind me, did Steve Kuhn read the mange I got him for Christmas? Do you mm. know if he liked it, Sir PG? Worry. Which one? There was two. Which one? There was two. Wait, we got... We, we, wait, hold on. Boom. Why so sad? Huh. I feel like I need to pick up the anime for this just because it's spooky. We got this one. This one was good, actually. Nah, man, it's about this girl that, that can kind of see spooky crap, but nobody else can see it, and it's very unnerving. And I would say the character designs are really good in there for the little sp spooky, creepy things. This is good. There's a bunch of volumes for this, but now I'm like, I want to look at the, the the anime. And they got a Blu-ray coming out. Boom. It's on my list. I'm, I'm No, I'm waiting for it to be on sale. Okay. Green screen's messing this up. But there you go. This is good. 
I like it. Thank you. We didn't get the get to the other one yet. Did Don read that one or the other one? She had to want the cats. Go. The other way about the girl to turn into a monster when she felt in love. No, we didn't get that one yet. But you got four pages into it, right? And then you got interrupted as usual. Oh, look, I'm going to sit here and do this phone call. Okay, oh, I guess I'm doing tech support for the next 12 hours. <laughs> That's literally what happened. What? It's only four pages, though, so we can just reread those real quick and then catch up. We're going to get, maybe we should do that tonight. Do we have anything planned for tonight? No? You don't? Shut up. He doesn't know. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you. Uh. If you just sub yesterday, so thank you, Spider. Thank you, I appreciate. It. Mm. That anime was great. Don't spoil it for me. I haven't seen it. No, I, I like when they come out with like a thing with dubs on it, so then I could just like you know look up at the good parts. Yeah, I want to see it now. Mm -mm -mm. Bump bump bump. Pour monster energy on your potato plants to turn your potatoes rainbow colored. Trust me, I don't want that. Why am all potatoes rainbow colored? <laughs> Opinions on localizer debacle. What's happening? I don't even know. I got no info. Who's localizing? Who localized? Preferential treatment. He's working two jobs. Jim does most of the work for your stream. Stop complaining. Get back to work. There you go. Still waiting on the Digimon reboot dub. Taking so long. That's that's the main problem I have with dubs. And I know people are like, dude, just read the subtitles. I'm super busy. I can't sit and read a book, let alone, you know, shows, you know? It takes me a long time to get through stuff. Um, so it's like, I, it is, it, oh God. Can, can I just, hey, can we just make our career about watching stuff and, and talking about it? Because I would like to do that. <laughs> I'm just saying it. Be like one of those reviewers. Yeah, I got to watch this. I would really enjoy that type of job. You know, everyone complains. They're like, oh, I spent... Blah, 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 blah. I would love to do that, you know? God. Uh, let's see. Those would be some freaky, trippy potatoes. Basically, localizer completely changing things said in anime for a different demographic. Oh. Um, well, that I mean, that's kind of what localization's done for because it's supposed to be localized, right? I feel like, and yeah, there are certain things in the Japanese language that do not translate well to Western audiences. So I feel like some liberties need to be taken, but it kind of depends on if they're doing it in a good or bad way. You know, it kind of depends. It all depends on, you know, the instance. Uh. <laughs> Uh, well, no, I mean, it's like there's a lot of stuff in, in Japanese language that just does not translate well. Yeah. I mean, I would rather I would rather them leave it intact. Like, OK, for those who read like mangas and stuff, if there's something in the manga that you don't understand, a good manga will have, you know, basically info about what they were talking about. So you learn about it. And I would rather do that. But, you know, with. Oh, God. Actual animes, nobody, there, there isn't that, like, you know, end info from the book that people can access. You know, most people won't take the time to look at it. So it's just like, just change this around because they're going to get confused. You know? So. Mm. Mangas. The mangas. I call them manjas. <laughs> I'm Italian. It's all about eating. It's like, manja. Yeah, like that one scene in Dragon Maid or Prison School. Oh, God, what do they do to those? Do I even want to know? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Man. Yeah. Pumpkin Guy reacts. Well, Steve's been doing that with Reddit. Oh, my God. Uh, dude, we got we got so many Steve clips sit, sitting in the wings here. They're, they're like, kind of just hanging out in the dugout, waiting to take the field. There is so much stuff. And I'm quite literally, I'm like, do, should we just post all this? Because I feel like we're flooding people's brains with Steve stuff. Funimation. It's not like we get jelly donuts like in Pokemon anymore. I like jelly donuts. Oh, I haven't had a good jelly donut in forever. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
I have no qualms with taking liberties when you have to or on occasion, but when you completely change the context of conversations, 180 degrees, it's just... <sighs> exactly. Like... No, I mean, or you basically change, like, certain characters' identities or prefer preferences when it comes to relationships, and they're just like, oh, they're, they're cousins. What is a very chummy cousins? Like, <laughs> dude, it's like, come on, dude. It, it's a little weird. Just, just keep 90% of it or 95% of it intact, and if you need localization for certain words or phrases, that's like, they're not going to understand what the blah, blah, blah is or the relevance to this shrine, or what a shrine person is, you know, that kind of things. It's like, all right, whatever, just make it accessible. What's up? Don! Don! All right, uh, you're doing clam, what, what are you making, the pastas? The greens are, are, are you gonna use all of it? No. Save some aside, so I put it on the side, because I got the peanut, I'm, I just what I say. Okay, no, peanut noodles. Oh, you see that, yelling at me. You can't yell at me like you're Italian. That's appropriation. <laughs> oh, you saw the peanut sauce. So you're like, hey, I got to make it a pasta to put peanut sauce on it. You need you need to talk with your hands more. See, now you're doing it. <laughs> so you can take half the pasta and put your peanut sauce on it. Oh, oh there you go. That's right. Okay. And then I take my half of the pasta and I put the yummy clam sauce on it. <clears throat> yeah, if you okay. hate pasta. Hey, come on. Okay. Gotta be more like this. You gotta flick it. You know, you gotta just like from under your chin, like. Uh. I, people can't see my chin. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Thank you. All right. It doesn't matter if they're cold because they're cold noodles. See what I did there? Yeah. yeah I'm science. What's up? Uh, why no stream? Because they're going to be eating clams. <laughs> and it's Wednesday. They don't generally... There you go. Uh, change it because there is no local equivalent. Okay, that works. Changing it because I think this is problematic. Yeah, no. Well, they do that with everything now. Dude, even, even Western content, they'll change around. Like, older stuff, it's slowly creeping up. You know? And if they can't change it, you know, the right way, they just outright ban it. But, you know, that's... Old stories for old content and old minds that can't move past the past. Hmm. Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus were originally lovers, but they were changed to cousins because of the time period. Doesn't that make it weirder? Or are they just trying to appeal to a particular demographic in America? <laughs> like, bro, I just feel like you just made it a lot weirder. Yeah. Uh, like that doesn't make any sense. Uh, well, you know, Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus, they're, they're, they're lovers, but you know, maybe we should change that to cousins. Wait, excuse me. They cut some of the more iffy scenes too. Oh, come on. Well, they re-released -re it on Blu-ray and it kept all those scenes intact, right? Because I remember, uh, watching one of the anime, uh, expos and they were actually saying look this is going to be released and yes we are going to keep it the way it was supposed to be so i think there are versions of it out there thankfully where it's intact you know but yeah we're gonna make them cousins wait don't do that you're making it worse good viz had a more accurate uh than clover way huh all right i can do it oh you know, as far as I'm concerned, stuff that's problematic is for people who, you know, if you look at something you're like, this is very problematic. You know, it's problematic. You're the problem. <laughs> you're the problematic. All right. God. You know, it's just like, if you like, well, we can't show that. Why? I, I hate getting into that conversation over and over again, but it's like, I feel like brr, society keep getting dragged back by the anchor of idiocy. You know, it's kind of weird. What? Live and let live. Yeah, exactly. Like, I generally have zero interest in anything on the planet as long as, long as it's not hurting somebody. That's the thing. You know? When it comes to ideologies and stuff like that, everybody can do what they want. You know, lifestyles, blah, 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 relationships. Dude, 
you know, live well, be well, that kind of thing, you know, but it's just like, as long as they're not, like, kicking me in the face, it's like, what do I care? Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's a lot of uh, sir preference baiting here in a lot of should you juice, uh, genre manga anime. I can't even pronounce those two. Really? I didn't know that was a thing. Mm. No, I know there are different genres for mangas and animes, and there's particular terms for them, but I don't know what any of them mean. I know uh, Slice of Life there and the uh, fantasy and uh, romance, comedy, you know, your generic genres. When you get into uh, shoujo, whatever that, shoujo is teen girls, joe say young ladies. Oh, okay. I guess. There was categories for them based on that? All right. Go. It was a virus that's been locked out in a computer. And now it's time to discover the 20th anniversary edition of Linkin Park's second breakthrough what? album, Why? Tierra, releasing on March 24th. That's not coming out for a month. <laughs> so random. Out of the blue. Ow. I don't know. I'm always worried about remasters again. We don't know where. We'll see. Hmm. Ah, thank you. Mm, the Chinese censoring for blood in anime makes scenes a lot fervier than what it is. The blood is white. Oh, God, China, really? Oh, that's making it so much worse. Especially when it's coming out of their nose. <laughs> Go. They redubbed card capture Sakura and redid the redone scenes and put the relationships that were controversial back. Hey! Though one of them was fairly inappropriate, even now. Ah. I don't know. I like when stuff is restored, but I guess it's not inappropriate for over there, but it would be here, right? Yeah. Yeah, coughing up blood, too. Ugh. Excuse me, are you okay? What have you been eating? <laughs> There's too much. I couldn't keep it down. Uh, let's see. The teacher-student one? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like... It's very bizarre because I, f I feel like Western cultures are the most repressed, yet for somehow we're more, I'm not going to say more advanced, but more progressive in certain areas. It's kind of weird. Like, how, how could an area that's been so, you know, repressed, don't say that, don't do this, yet still have a lot of progress happening? happening? It's like a weird balance, you know? Uh, whatever. Mm -mm. It is what it is. What am I going to do about that, right? Eh. Whatever. Mm. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Go. Let's just cut to the chase. Nothing in any form is appropriate for anyone ever again. Mm. Yeah, but then at that point, if if we can just accept that, God, that would be the best. If we could accept that there will just be certain things that certain people find inappropriate and or offensive, but who cares? And we can move forward as a society a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Just accept that there's going to be certain things people like and certain things that other people don't like. You know, it's like whatever. Uh, blood. What? Uh, I see what you did there, Cheney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. For Sailor Moon, a lot was chance. Besides Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus mm. being a couple, there was a gay mm -hmm. couple also, but Chance one of them to a female since he looked more like a girl than a guy. Uh -huh. There was a guy that crossed. Crossed this as a girl, and uh, they just make him a girl. And then there was the whole last season of Sailor Moon that never aired in the USA since three of the newest sailors are guys when not in sailor form. So, like St Steve's Maid Cafe, but. With superpowers, I figure. I figure in this day and age, it should be released. I mean, what? Like that doesn't even make any sense. Like, all right, whatever. What well, wasn't there a cartoon that everyone there was this all this outcry about it? What was it like? I want to say it was like She's Out or something like that. It was this thing where this kid, you know, turns into a girl and then has superpowers, but then goes back to being a boy or something like that. And people were like, oh, my God, you can't do that. And I'm just like, well, why? It's a cartoon, you know? I don't know all the details because I don't remember it being, I don't think I've even watched an episode. But I remember there was buzz about it. So I don't know. 
Mm. Sailor Moon, 30 years ahead of its time. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But, eh, whatever. Society all repressed and stuff. Oh, Steve had a really good bit. Oh, you got to post that soon. No, it's about that person on Reddit that was worried about the thing. I, I don't want to spoil it because it's good. You'll know it when you see it. Uh, yeah, it was like in middle school or something like that. Was it? Yeah, I don't remember about anything about it. I just remember those articles. Like, oh, no, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, eh. Uh, Moon Season 1, the four evil generals were male, one kind of feminine, and there was a pairing between two of them. Originally, they were paired with the Planet Princess. Oh. Can mm. Miko Takahashi's run my half? Uh, maybe. Oh. <laughs> You're thinking Shira. That's because a female character became a no, 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 no. That wasn't it. It wasn't Shira. It was something else. It was definitely it was it, it wasn't Shira because Shira I actually know what it is. It was something else. I forget the name of it. I think it was like Shizao, she Shizo, something like that. I don't know. It was just some weird cartoon. Fa I think Cartoon Network was trying to make, and then people complained about it because you know, oh, you know, you know how society is. No, oh, what am I gonna do? What am I going to do? I can't be bothered with society's closed-minded views. The burger. Okay. Uh, no, the, the, I don't know when it's going to get posted, but the Steve one with the burger on it. There you go. So if you see, uh, see a Steve clip pop up on the YouTube channel, it's got a huge burger on it. That That's the one to watch. It's very pertinent to this conversation. Uh, let's see. There you go. Let's see what's left in my cup of coffee. Boom. God, that one's cute. Not a lot. Okay. I got water now. Mm -mm -mm. I like that one. It looks like she got bonked on the head. <clears throat> Camper did something like that, if I recall. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. They're like, I like Chira. Uh, is that series still going, or did it cancel that, too? Uh, and I think this Shizal was like a ring that he found in his grandma's house. It did air, but on The Hub, a defunct TV channel owned by Hasbro, I think. Oh, all right. So it was Shizal. All right. So it was a ring. It was like the one ring to change them all. <laughs> mm, boom, boom, boom. I like Shira, but the uh, Katra thing caught me off guard. Oh, all right. All I'm going to say, if you want good progressive representation in anime, just look at Lily from Zombieland Saga. That's on my list to watch. That's on my list. She refinished like a two, like two years ago. Yeah, see, I'm quite literally not up on any of that. Because right. that was on Netflix, right? And I was like, oh, it's on Netflix. I'll get to it. And then I just never did. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm still salty that the Thundercats remake got canned. It was really fun. They'll do a this lot of This was action. all back in the late 90s. All of that is all right now. All, right. all I said before was part of the new Sailor Moon they rebooted a few years back, which followed the manga more than the one from the 90s. Oh, all right. There you go. Good to know. Thank you for clarifying. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, no, I, I feel like there's going to be a Thundercats live action movie at some point. I really do. I really do. There is no way you can have... G.I. Joe, Transformers, and, I mean, even He-Man had a live action back in the day, which I think they're going to try to do a series for Hulu or something. I'm not sure. Um, but I guarantee you Thundercats is going to be that 80s nostalgia somebody taps into, and they're like, Thunder! Thundercats! Money! You know, that kind of thing? It'll happen. I'm still grumpy. Green Lantern series got canned. Hey, Mr. Mays, they're making a new Green Lantern series, and it's going to have Jon Stewart and Hal in it. Hal Jordan. They're making a series. It's going to be a live-action series. Live-action series. Look it up. James Gunn said so. James Gunn said so. James Gunn said so. Green Lantern. Jon Stewart and Hal Jordan. What's up? Hmm. Ask James Cameron. It would probably look better that way. Yeah, James Cameron. That would, you know, actually, if they if they did the Avatar kind of special effects with Thundercats, it would probably look really good. You know, you do that that kind of quality mocap mood. I'd probably be, I would watch that. That'd be good. That's a good thing. 
Live action, I'll give up on it now then. But it's DC, bro. Come on. <laughs> you, you literally just said, nope, nope, not giving him the chance. It's supposed to be good. Allegedly. I don't know. Well, it's not like James Gunn is going to come out. Yeah, we're going to work on a Green Lantern series. Uh, it's not going to be animated. It's going to be live action. It's probably going to be total, total trash. But uh, let me tell you about the Batman movie work. No, Nobody does that. But I would like that kind of honesty. Yeah, we're working on this project I have little to no faith in. I mean, we're going to give it a shot and maybe some idiots will watch this. But, you know, it, it is what it is. So if it fails miserably, don't be surprised. I would love for a producer to say that. Really undersell it. But then make it one of the best shows ever. That would be great. <laughs> uh, if a live action Thundercats movie comes out, the furry community is going to grow so much. I guess. Yeah. Uh, if it's a series and DC could, okay, DC films are trash and less animated. Um, yeah, well, we'll see what happens when James Gunn gets his hands on things. You know, it could get better. It could get better. You know? We got we to gotta at least be optimistic. We can't go running into it being like, everything's garbage, man. No, man, I, I need the Snyderverse again. Oh, God, the Snyderverse is dead. Let it rot in its corpse, okay? Um, no, let, let's see what James Gunn does and how things pan out here, um, and hopefully things will get better, you know? I mean, I kind of got to, you know? Uh, comics as a whole have uh, fallen a lot recently. Like, I feel it's partially due to everyone being docile in the last two decades. Um... I mean, you can only do so much with comics and, you know, the comic movies and whatever, superhero movies, they're geared towards a mass audience. So with the exception of Logan being like pretty gritty as far as movies go and Deadpool, it's super difficult to make movies for a general public. So. As of now, we are only 16 days away until Murder Drones episode three is released. It'll be a prom themed hmm. episode with the probability of something good? very shocking happening well, right before our eyes. Why? Why? But then you're spoiling it for people. Don't spoil anything. Even with possibilities and probabilities, we don't know. We don't know. Murder drones help us. Wait, that's not their job. Wait, what? <laughs> Murder drone. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyone heard anything about the new Robocop we started talking about a couple of years ago? What? The movie or the game? The game is still in development. I think it's supposed to come out later this year. I don't know about the movie, though. It was, like, up in the air. I don't know what happened to it. Always remember the big three kick-started comics because of the war aftermath. Yeah. Mm, theories are the reason why it's been a successful show. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess. We'll see. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I hope DC does better, okay? You know, I feel like they're the underdog now. I want them to. I want them to win. You know what? You know what really bothered me, bro? There was no mention of a new Harlequin movie. You know, out of the, everything that James Gunn was like, oh, dude, we're working on this, 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 this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You know, dude, no news about Lobo. No news about Harlequin. Bro, bro, come on. It's the J. We know, come on, we need a uh, maybe. I don't. I don't watch the last Harlequin. Birds of Prey. I didn't bother. Got to do your taxes. Oh my God. Yeah, taxes are such a pain. I think it was a movie, but it'll take a new game. No, there is a game. Mm, that's still being worked on. I think it's supposed to come out later this year, like later this year. Yeah, you know, like Q4 and you know, that kind of thing. Think they might take a break from Harley. Um, yeah, that's a possibility. Well, they got the animated series still going, so I don't. I don't think. Uh, do you think they're gonna recast Harley at some point? Uh oh, uh oh. Hmm. It's a possibility. Boom, 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 boom. Live action. Yeah, read that. Mm, read that. Read that. Read that. Also looking forward to whenever the new Advance Wars comes out on Switch. Was delayed for reasons. I'll hate when things are delayed for reasons. As long as the, the reason is to make it better. That's always a good reason. I think it's getting uh, canned along with Doom Patrol. What? The Harlequin series? 
No, the animated series. I don't think that's getting canned. I think they actually have another one. Didn't get a notification. Wow. No. We're almost done here. Ah, oh, come on. Bro. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, I mean, Titans Titans was going to... Well, they're wrapping up, like, all the series. So, like, uh, Green Green Arrow, that's going to go. Flash, I think they're running down, if it's not already done. Um, Supergirl, Titans, Teen Titans, um, Doom Patrol. But I think the Harley Quinn animated series is staying. I think. I have no faith in Gunn. He got rid of Cavill, yet is keeping Miller. Well, M Miller's already in the film. It's like it was 90% done. So it's not like you could say, get rid of this. You know, they already got like $300 million in the film. <laughs> They're not canceling that. Um, but Cavill is just like, dude, it's like, what are you going to do? Yeah, we'll see what happens. But... And I don't think he got rid of Cavill. He's just like, you know, what he, What was his, his angle? We didn't fire Cavill. We just didn't rehire him. <laughs> Wait, that's pretty much the same thing, right? Hmm. I really hope Warner Brothers gets its act together after the merger with Discovery. Yeah. Nah, man. It's been an uphill struggle for Warner Brothers. They've just been getting clubbed. Yeah. Everything gets messed up. And it is... It is uh, the thing with Ezra Miller, basically Warner Brothers is like, well, his future will be determined by how his recovery goes. Meanwhile, this person was found, technically found guilty of whatever crime it was, didn't have to do jail time, but is going into some kind of thing. Um, but, you know, it's like, meanwhile, what's his face? Uh, Roland hasn't even gone to trial yet, and they're like, yep, oh, you're out of everything. Bro, I haven't even been tried yet. Don't care. What? Yeah. This is what happens when somebody has, you know, a couple of million dollars uh, in, in your projects invested and then 300 million. It's weird. And I'm not defending either of them. You know, if they're if they're guilty of what they did, then they're horrible people. Get the hell out if they. But one literally, I think, was don't quote me on it. They literally went to trial, was found guilty or pled guilty. Somebody looked that up. Ezra Miller was technically found guilty. Right. And the sentence was like some kind of mental thing correct i could be wrong don't quote me no what gun did was call cavill and told him he is back as superman and to post that then when cavill met with gun a day later gun basically said cavill is too old and they want a younger superman oh you're too old man dude i wish i, I, I was looking that good yeah you know? dude penry cavill is too old then you know i'm i'm some i'm a i'm a busted car and a dump you know i mean what Sorry, sorry, Cavill, you, you're kind of looking too old. What? <laughs> so he was found guilty, technically, right? They, mm, whatever. Liam Hemsworth is going to play Geralt. Yeah, I know. I don't I don't know if that's going to work. We'll see. I'll give him a shot. Mm. But, man, he isn't dead. He's just not alive. Mm. Yeah, so, all right. So found guilty, they were, what? They had to do some kind of court ordered thing i can't stand ezra miller just looking at them makes me nauseous at this point Dope. um yeah but i mean it's like they're already they're stuck in a movie they're not going to reshoot the whole flash thing just because they were messing things up let's just make a cavill sherlock series or a movie then what i keep tossing them in uh what is it enola holmes yeah there you go They'll probably make another movie. Mm. So I'm frowning on this whole accused of XYZ gets dropped from everything. And yet when found innocent remains dropped. Yeah, I mean, it, it happens. Dude, it's just an ally. Merely at this point, just an allegation is enough to be like, oh, get him out of here. You know, but it's it's just kind of weird. You know, and nobody nobody bothers to go with uh, due process. They're just like, whatever. And again, when in Roland's case, if the. If they're terrible, then they're terrible. Then good, get out of here, because we don't need that in anyone's life. But, well, yeah, like Johnny Depp. So it was, it was kind of like everyone just basically booted him, and I was like, oh, we love you now. Oh, wow, because now you believe me? Thanks. Mm. Yeah, but it is what it is. You know, let things run their course and then judge accordingly after they've actually been judged. 
by an actual court and not a court of public opinion. Yeah, I'm not defending people doing horrible things, but there will be people who will only stop at public execution when someone gets a single accusation. Yeah. It's like we don't know half of this stuff. You know, we don't know the inner workings of things. Yeah. And then I always find it weird when, like, people make allegations and then just settle out of court. So then it's like, was it an actual allegation or was it just for the money? Like, this is what I don't understand. Like, hypothetically, if somebody did something really bad to me, I would want them going to jail. I'm not really concerned about the money. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird that way. But, eh, if there's a double standard with a mandatory, yeah, yeah, the Amanda Heard thing. Yeah, that, that was, that was kind of crazy. Well, not until you get into sociological aspects of everything, but yeah, kind of when you're a guy, if somebody makes a weird thing, it's like, oh, well, yeah, because they're a guy. You know, it's kind of whatever. This is why I don't talk to anybody. I have little to no social interactions, and I, I'm very untrustworthy of basically, I don't trust anybody, basically. That's kind of like the thing where I'm just like, nope, 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 nope. Hey, you want, nope. Hey, how about, no. <laughs> Mm, New England or Manhattan clam chowder. I will throw both out the window equally because I hate clams. But that, that's not that's not a fight for me. That's not something I argue about. Uh, let's see. Miss Placido Domingo. What? what is it? Oh, the the Placido Domingo had groupies. Is that even possible? I guess. All right. Remember seeing the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie? Johnny Depp was still uh, off before that all happened. Um, Yeah, the last... No, it was all right. It's still decent, though. Jeffrey Rush carried that movie, frankly. Dude, he was so good in that. Uh, what about sushi burritos? No. Mm, Placido Domingo had opera groupies. That's... I, I, here's the thing. When you get into the world of opera, I, I feel like the audience would carry themselves with a little bit more refinement than being relegated and demeaning themselves to mere groupie status. You know? Like, what do you do? Throw your monocle at them instead of your underwear? Like, how does that even work? But, all right. Uh... Cali fusion food is on another plane of existence. Well, that's because of all the uh, hallucinogenics. Um, Johnny Depp is and has been a soft-brained fool. Allegedly, he idolized what Hunter S. Thompson. That man was definition of a monster. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, Johnny Depp is is far from being okay up here, in my opinion. Um, and I, I just feel like he definitely needs some to work he's got inner demons he definitely does but you know he grew up in that whole hollywood thing so i don't know whatever it's like uh, it's a world i cannot relate to on any level because i've never reached any levels of those fames so i don't know what they go through you know and yet they still do i guess i don't know opera groupies that's like so weird to me you know it's not like going to like a motley crew concert you know you're there to see, like, Pagliacci, you know? Like, all right, I guess. They teach their own, I suppose. Hmm. I, I'm just confused. Ah, God. Let me get some more water. Ah, water. And now I'm out of water. Boom. Different genre, same level of fan, fangirls slash boys, I guess. I mean, I, I've, I've, okay, here's the thing. I've never, and I've been big fans of things, but I don't think I would, I don't think I would quantify as a groupie historically in anything that I ever liked. And even like obsessively, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, you know, oh my God, you're the best thing ever. Take me away somewhere. You know, it's like, just like, good job. Is my problem that I'm a little too level-headed? Is that it? I don't know. People get swept up in the weirdest things. Well, like, what's going to happen? Hypothetically, I like A, B, or C. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go to one of their concerts, and I'm going to throw something at them, and then all of a sudden they're going to be like, yeah, come up on stage and hang out with me. And we're going to do some 
backstage kind of stuff? I mean, like, what? And wouldn't wouldn't forethought say, well, okay, this person is like world famous, fill in a blank. You know what they've probably done? I don't think I want to be in contact with that. I don't have all my shots. You know what I'm saying? It's like a little forethought. Then you're wondering, like, why does everything itch all of a sudden? You know, it's kind of weird. What would an opera mosh pit be like? Um, I feel like just a bunch of people looking like Mr. Peanut going back and forth. If that. Or maybe doing soft clapping. Yes, yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. I don't know. But they would just give each other a glove slap. That's actually pretty good. All right. Whoopsh. How dare you? I am enjoying this as well. <laughs> you know, they'll just tip their hats to each other and people will just flip it out of their hand. That's when it gets really rowdy. But that's all I got. I, I don't know. I've, I've, I've only been to like the classical opera type things I've actually been to. I've been kind of low key. Um, nothing super famous, just like, you know, community stuff and whatever um there were a couple of professionals that i've seen here and there but you know everyone just kind of sat in their sh chair watched enjoyed and then applauded afterwards there wasn't that one person in the back saying I love you. you know there wasn't any of that so mm. and people trying to out bravissimo louder and louder i said bravissimo. i said i said bravo because i i have no I don't know, whatever. Opera etiquette. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good, though. I like that. That would be a very lo good comic strip. Hey, if you can, Ebby, if you can draw, do, do a little comic strip like that. Just put class classical mosh pit. Yeah. You know? In the background, you just have classical musicians and people just slapping each other with white gloves. Uh, big fan of Knox Hill, independent artist, uh, and Cliff Beats. Reaction channel, better lack something, but not to that extent. Yeah, there you go. I know I've never got gotten to that point where I'm I'm so enraptured with something that I have to be weird about it, you know. And I like Selma Hayek, okay, but you know I'm not going to be outside of their house doing weird things. Marry me, Selma Hayek. I loved you in Dogma. <laughs> you know, it's like, what am I? Come on, dude, it's weird. Uh, dun, 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 dun. What? I, I haven't even sent them a tweet saying, you know what? You did really good in that. Because you know? I feel like it's weird. You know, they do their job. I enjoy it. And then we move on. Really good in Hitman's Bodyguard's Wife. Uh, so good. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, different John, same level. I read that. Uh, bum, bum, bum. John Depp. Bum, bum. If, uh, if you do a crime against somebody, the person can't plead. Do that. We'll go to court. What? I don't know. Hmm. What are we going to do? We're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up. We're wrapping this up, chat. We're wrapping it up. We got to wrap it up because my cold noodles are getting colder. All right? And before you know it, the cold noodles are going to be room temperature, and that's going to be gross. But there we go. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I got my sesame seeds. I got that uh, stuffed there, the peanut noodle sauce. It's going to be good. Hmm. I sent fan mail to Eminem once. Never send him fan, fan mail to anyone else. Were you Stan? Don't be Stan. <laughs> All right. Hey, at least you know I listen to him, right? Uh, what type of noodles? I don't know. Just noodles. Taco Bell wrap. I don't have Taco Bell wraps. Don't, don't. Here's the thing. Don't influence my taste buds. Thank you, Dakota. Um. No, man. You ever, you ever do that? You're like, oh, dude, I'm going to have this, this particular meal. And somebody's like, dude, taco wraps. And then your palate automatically changes. Now I want something kind of spicy. Ah, not a stand. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, that was such a good video. And I remember people complaining about that when that came out. The stand video for Eminem. You know, because certain humor you can't really, even though that's probably like a legit experience that dude had. Yeah, yeah. There was this weird, really weird, crazed fan, fan named Stan. Mm, bump, bump, bump. Later, little guy. Speaking of fan mail, but but painted a fake pumpkin and wants to send it to you. Plus a drawing. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Thank you, Hope. I appreciate. It. Look at a warrior. Hi. Hope you're doing well. What's up? Burrito. You got to roll those R's when you say burrito. You can't be that 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 pleb. 
who says burrito, you know? That's why you got to say pollo instead of polo. Burrito. Yes. There you go. Mongolian barbecue. Not, stop it. See, my taste buds are confused now. Damn it. What? Uh, let's see. Uh, created the word stand to what it means today. There you go. I love Selma Hayek. Who doesn't like Selma Hayek? Come on. Hey, there's a little lesser new uh, movie of hers called uh, Banditas. It's also got uh, Penelope Cruz. Yeah, that's like a double threat there. Nice. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I love Mongolian bar. Oh, God. Everyone's talking about other food. Where's my outro music? We're going to raid somebody. Uh, I'll probably be Psychora. Let's see. Go! Oh. Thanks for the stream, PG. Yeah. Hope you have a great rest of your week and see you Sunday. We shall Jim see. Love. Nice. Thank you. I know, we're going to be doing things, uh, what, Steve might pop up sometime during the week. Don is going to be streaming probably Friday. Assuming migraines don't come in again. Eh, I should be doing all right. Um, and I'm going to be back on Sunday and then maybe stuff in between. God, there's so much Steve crap we got to post. Oh, new foamy cartoon was posted this week. If you missed it, it's on the YouTubes. You do that. Come on, Pilsy, Pilsy fixes poetry. It's great. Uh, I've got 30 seconds to make three hours. There you go. Consume most tasty wheat snacks. <laughs> wheat? All right, we'll see what happens. I know I got to make my food. Everybody go do a thing. We're going to raid someone. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see who's on. Later. Go. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang.